Hello everybody, it is time for Marvel Legendary Randomizer number 38. I'm happy to see you all here on this Thursday. We have some results to go over for last week though. Let me hide this so we can see the nice logo. Hello everybody, good morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are. Thank you for being here. Already got 12 people, that's super cool. Alright, uh, let's talk about this past week's league. Oh, Montax, thank you. Thank you for the seven month sub. I'm gonna read that went by really quickly. Seven months feels like we're just getting started. Thanks for making my Thursdays, Saturdays, and sometimes Fridays end with a positive note. Of course, I'm happy to happy to be part of it, and thank you for making me part of it. Really appreciate the seven seven months in a row subscription. That's incredible. Thank you. Seventeen people now. Okay, awesome. All right. So uh, news about uh, well, actually, uh, thank you for being patient with me as I had a graphics card emergency. I was able to resolve it very quickly thanks to somebody selling one locally for a very good rate. I was able to quickly run out and grab a new one in a time where graphics cards are very hard to come by, so I was happy about that. Hey, seven months for Drufus too. Love this community a lot, thanks for holding us together. Hey, thanks for making uh, making the community work. Without you guys, it wouldn't work, so appreciate it. Really do. Um, and thanks, uh, by the way, if you guys don't know, I, I'll mention this. Drufus was a big help on the booster packs at the very beginning, uh, helping me figure, uh, helping me put everything together and figure out what packs go with what and set, so uh, give Drufus a thanks for helping that get set up. I don't mention that often enough. Uh, all right, uh, so let's talk about this past week's league. Shadow King finds a split personality killer. Everybody won. There was not a single lose in the entire week. So good job to everybody. Let me shout out everybody who won. Let's see. So who played? Everybody who played won. So Montax, Escalapor, Jay Parnell, Tales of Thetis, uh, Imka, Mr. Tints, Ollie and Kyla, Mikey, Off the Cuff, my repeating names. Who else played? Ice Flake. Dre 2.0, Snash 108, Scalapur. I apologize for repeating. Everybody won. Uh, Nyquist 76, thanks for the follow. But there were people that won with a few more points to other people. And a lot of you guys did really well. There was one, at one point a three way tie in setup B between Off the Cuff, Mikey Gill, and Jay Parnell all had a final score of 47. And they were at the number one score, all three tied. That is until. Ollie and Kyla decided to play and swept the whole <laughs> week. Uh, they came back in full force this time with a score of 105 for setup A and 57 for setup B. By the way, I don't think they recorded <laughs> setup A this week, but they stream at least setup B every week. So if you don't believe their score, go to House of Mao on Twitch and watch the game. I'm pretty sure you guys have it uploaded, right? Uh, it's just the, the video from your stream. Uh, go watch it. They, they played a really good game. I was, uh, I had a fun time looking at how you guys, some of you guys won with the scheme and some of you won with the, uh, off the cuff, you were very close, don't give up. Someone with the scheme, someone by beating, uh, Shadow King, let's see what the, uh, quotes were for today. So we have Drape 2.0 saying, my strategy for each hand changed as, uh, several times in the first rounds as all five of Shadow King's strikes kept stealing my only non-gray cards. I hate when that happens, that's a big pain. Off the cuff says, I wish there were more schemes that completely change how the game is played. Me too. We kind of got a little bit of that in the preview for Annihilation. We got a couple of cool, kind of game-changing schemes. And Jay Parnell says, it's always Wonder Man. You don't name yourself that unless you have something to hide. I think you have a point. Ali and Kyla say, Emma was great. Investigate is probably our favorite keyword. We didn't care about finding the killer. We just wanted to punch the Shadow King to death. And it looks like you did. Well done. Imka says, can we do another fun, another one such as fun as this setup this week? I sincerely hope so, but... Knowing track record about when we want something, it's probably not going to happen, but we'll see. And Montag says, felt like a very weird win since I can never, since I never hit the mastermind. I can see why I never played the scheme, but totally thematic with the set. Yeah, it's a weird way to win, but it's a win nonetheless. What was the like rate? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I, I'll look it up. It was over a 4.1. It was at least a 4.1. I think it's the most liked setup so far since I started keeping track of that, which is not surprising, but, uh. Regardless, well done, everybody. I'm glad we got a scheme that a lot of people liked. Let's see if we continue that trend today when we open up all our stuff here. Let's get rid of this. We like ones we can win. Um, yeah, one of the things I'm testing is to see whether or not the like rate corresponds or there's a correlation to like rate and win rate. And my hypothesis, scientifically, I'm thinking about this, my hypothesis is that there is not a, there's not a correlation. Or, if anything, there is a very non-significant correlation. I think that you don't need to have a winnable setup to make it fun or an easy to win. 
Yeah, winnable and easy to win is a different thing. Winnable means is it, is it possible or not? And then easy is, you know, how often am I going to win? Anyway, let's see what we're getting today. Any guesses? Throw them up in chat. If it's close, it's usually fun. Yeah, close games are usually fun, and that can play out different ways. The same setup can be close or not close, depending on how it plays out for you. But yeah, that's usually the case. Um, you guys don't think Dark Phoenix is fun, and I don't necessarily blame you. All right, who's showing up today? Ajax is the safe choice of some form of Iron Man. I think that's your best chance at getting part of the setup. Angel, Lady, Thor. Um, keep in mind that as we do this league, when I win a setup, it's eliminated from the rotation. So the harder masterminds and schemes get put back in. So as we go on with this, the games are going to get harder and harder. But uh, we're going to try to do our best. So uh, Tigra, Maria Hill, I, off the cuff. I really hope you're wrong. Domino, something from Villain, some set of Wolverine. Okay, Wolverine's the second best guess, I think. Iron Man and Wolverine are the, are, occur the most often. Although Iron Man is... He's a mastermind, too. Who occurs the most? There's different Captain America, Captains America. All right, let's do this thing. Starting the split. I said starting the split. There we go. Um, randomizing now. Mole Man. Revere heuristic identities. Oh, with all those heroes. This is going to take forever. All right, all right. And the Brood are back. Oh, by the way, after I get the setup today, let me reveal the setup for Saturday. Mole Man reminds me. I forgot to do that. So let me do that after I do the setup. I'll, I'll, I'll say it right here on the stream. All right. Reveal hero secret identities. Mole Man is fun. So we got some... Subterranea going on. I already told you that Subterranea is part of the game, so if you're going to be here for the, uh, oh, I should have mentioned it, the uh, Guys vs. Gals game is on Saturday, so if you're playing in the game, I really hope you're there, and if you're watching, I also hope you're there to watch the game. Did Mr. J. Tin say something? What did he say? I missed it. I probably said it and then missed it. Oh, Lady Thor. Oh, yeah, there she is, right at the end. All right, uh, Subterranea. Yeah, uh, no repeat teams in <laughs> That is fun, unless the setup calls for that. No? Nope. Could have been the same team. Alright, let me get the villain. This one is going to probably be a nightmare. Lethal Legion. I have not used them in a while. Alright, there's a Lethal Legion, and we've also got the Brood, of course. So yeah, you're gonna need a lot of expansions to play setup A this week. Is anybody able anybody able to play setup A? I know Ollie and Kyla can, they have all the expansions. Alright, let's get our heroes together. Awesome, so a few of you have all that stuff. That's great to hear. Alright, uh Black Swan. Oh my gosh, strategy might go completely out the window today. Daredevil the war. And, uh, Skern. Haven't used those in a while. Let's see. They have new recruits on them. Okay, I was talking about this with Atheron slash Adam. I gotta do this ruling right now. Um, this card gets new recruits. Should I add new recruits as a stack that I can recruit from at any time during this game? Or should I make it so only the card can summon new recruits? Let me know in the comments. It won't be the case for setup B if I do that in the comments. In the chat. What am I what's wrong with me? Where am I? What's the, what day is it? Alright, Bruce. I, I I'm leaning towards yes. Alright. Man thing. I, I believe this marks Man Thing's fifth appearance in the randomizer league. Or in the randomizer stream series, that is, and then Lady Thor. My time today is going to be terrible. Dre says only the card. Okay. If most of you say only the card, and that doesn't make sense for anybody who doesn't have villains. Yeah, that works for me. All right. So, Scheme of Mastermind. We got Mole Man here, and we got the Secret Identities here. 
All right, villain deck. Let me make sure I get this right. We got five, six, seven, eight. We got the Lethal Legion, and we got the Brood. We also need five strikes. Here they are. Okay, card only. So no, uh, no new recruit stack today, and for the league. Uh, I forgot what I was doing. Oh, six, six twist. I'll update the counter in a second. And the two bystanders. And we're good. Did anybody not see the uh, new schemes for Annihilation? I'll tell you about the one I think is interesting. The most interesting, if you if you haven't heard. Uh, okay, let's get this shuffled up. Six piles. Um, Skurn is from Fear Itself, Matt, which is the other villain set, and he uses new recruits. Oh, Skurn. Nope, she. It's Thundra, right? She uses new recruits. Is it, is it Thundra? Who became Skurn? I forget who became Skurn. It was either Thundra or Titania? One of the two. Okay, question on this one. Say you got an HQ full of, uh, I don't know, Brutes, and he already has been on mass, and a twist comes out. You don't do anything for that twist. I don't know. I have to read the scheme again, but uh, Titania, thank you. By the way, uh, Jamila Jamil is going to play Titania in She-Hulk, and I'm very excited for that. So yeah, the scheme I really like in and makes it interesting for the randomizer is uh, the Hero's Home scheme, scheme in Annihilation, because after you pick the scheme, it says to pick two... Uh, one hero per player. So choose one hero per player. So even if we're in a randomizer scheme, I imagine it'll only have three heroes here, and I get to pick two of them. <laughs> yeah, her sister Camille, I've heard, she is much better. <laughs> Who is Groot's secret identity? Um, it's a pseudo wudo. That's for all the Pokemon fans out there. Alright, that's good enough for the villain deck. I should not have this wire so close to the villain deck spot. All right, let's do this crazy massive hero deck. That's one, two, oh, let's do this. Three, four, five, six, seven heroes. <laughs> All right. This is gonna be a pain to clean up. That's okay. I do it. I do it all for you. I'll use twelve heroes. It's not like this is chaos or nothing. Okay. What was the other scheme? One was uh, invade or something. Heroes homes. And the other one, they're both timer schemes, which is interesting. Uh, I forgot the other one. By the way, if for some reason you haven't seen the new cards, the blog is up by Upper Deck. I also have a video up going over. The cards they revealed, they revealed uh, Galactus Hungers, which is the rare card of the Heralds of Galactus Villain Group, and Galactus Hungers destroy city spaces. Negative and positive pulse. Oh yeah, that's a cool one. It expands on the other one from Fantastic Four. Thank you. Changes how you attack and recruit stuff every other turn. Gives plus or minus to attack for villains and, and recruit costs for things. But uh, yeah, so Galactus Hungers is cool because... It has a setup where if you destroy all the city spaces, evil wins and you win and everyone else loses. So, interesting. If that ever happens for the League, I feel like I would have to call that a win. Just like uh, for the split personality killer, you guys had to... Uh, you called it a win even if only one person got the uh, guess right. But I was thinking about strategic ways to use that. He'll, he'll destroy spaces from the left to right. That one doesn't seem like it's going to be too difficult since the effects of Twist last only one turn. Yeah, but the point is planning for it correctly. That's the tricky part. This villain deck, this hero deck is ridiculous. What the heck's my strategy today? Look at all that Covert, by the way. Lots of Covert. A uh, good amount of Instinct and Strength. Barely any ranged or tech. Look at that. Seven heroes picked and not a single tech card in the bunch. That's incredible, honestly. Did you guys notice that? No tech at all. Yeah, that is very odd. Well, there you go. Just make like Phoenix is very weird. If you make a certain amount of attack, you end up winning. Yeah, exactly like that. 
Yeah, the timer, you gotta act quickly. I don't mind timer schemes, I think, as much as some people do, because you just really gotta ramp it up quickly. I know it's annoying when you pull, like, six scheme twists at the beginning, but the way I shuffle them, that doesn't usually happen. When I do the stack shuffle, I don't usually get a big stack of twists all at once. They're, I have double sometimes. Okay, here's the hero deck, that's ridiculous. Here it is. Alright, uh, starting hands. I think I'm gonna go over ten minutes for the first time in a while, thanks to this hero deck. It's not very fair, but what am I gonna do? Mr. Jeff, I disagree. I like I I see why they do that. It makes a sense of urgency and it makes it easier to play it again quickly. But I get it. I, I like that they're there. Maybe if anything, I wish that so many of them weren't timer schemes. I like having the option that some of them are. Okay, anything else I gotta set up for the scheme? Nope. All right, I beat 10 minutes. I'm gonna call that a win for the amount of heroes I had to pick. So 939 is today's setup score, speed score. Well said, me. All right, we're gonna go over the mastermind and scheme real quick, but you guys wanna find out what the setup is for Saturday? I'll tell you right now. I have already revealed, let me upload the setup by the way. Uh, I've already revealed, and if somebody would like to put this in the viewers play chat for me while I'm here, that would be great. Uh, the henchman is already uh, Spider Slayers. The two villain groups I revealed are Subterranea and Wrecking Crew. And here's the rest of it. You ready? Your mastermind, as you probably guessed, is J. Jonah Jameson, who always leads the Spider Slayers. What is he trying to do? Well, he is trying to ruin the perfect wedding of Black Widow and Hulk. And there you go. So that's going to be real interesting. <laughs> On Saturday, if someone wants to post that in viewers play, that would be great. So enjoy that, everybody. I don't know if you expected that to happen. Okay, here's our uh, mastermind first, actually. Mole Man. Mole Man gets plus one attack for each subterranea villain that has escaped. Always lead subterranea. Master Strike is. All subterranea villains in the city escape. If any villains escape this way... Each player gains a wound. I want to avoid that. It's probably something I could do. Maybe if I get a lot of Groot, I can use that to avoid those. And Moment is trying to reveal heroes' secret identities. Don't worry, I didn't forget about the prediction. I want to inform you first. Six twists, seven heroes in the hero deck. Got it. Twist. Put a hero from the HQ next to the scheme as an unmasked hero. All cards with unmasked hero names cost one recruit to recruit. You can't unmask a hero name that has already been unmasked, and evil wins when five heroes are unmasked. So this is also a timer scheme. Five twists and the game is over. Oh no, that's that's wrong. Nope, that's right. Yes. Uh, a twist unmasked a hero. Oh, not necessarily. I could have heroes that have already been unmasked here. So it's a little bit better than a timer scheme, but depending on how I manage the HQ, it could be a little worse. Okay. So let me start the prediction. How is it gonna go today? Yeah, Dre, exactly. What's it gonna be? All right, win or lose. Okay. Awesome, Kyle, I'm glad I answered that in a roundabout way. Yeah, so if there's nobody left to unmask, then nobody gets, the, uh, they go to the pile, right? Hold on, hold on. Let me read this again. You can't unmask a hero name that has already been unmasked. Okay, yeah, so HP management. All right, Juice says, feels like a win. Anybody? Uh, thoughts on the setup for Saturday? I didn't see a lot of reaction. Maybe it's in the Discord and I can't see it right now. All right, let's fill up the HQ. We got Black Swan, more Black Swan, Skurn, Skurn, and Black Swan. Oh, we got the uh, Femme Fatales filling up the city right now. Interesting. I put Lady Thor in the deck, right? I'm pretty sure. Let me just check. I'm pretty sure I did. I did. Okay, just make it sure. You want to change your prediction? Why? You said win. That's what's going to happen, right? Okay, let's uh, let's do this. Let's place let's place Mole Man right here, 
So you can see that he costs 7 to hit. And you can see his stuff there. And let's go ahead and get started with turn number 1. Ah, I wasn't fast enough. Ignore that. <laughs> House of Mao really wants all those little uh, Should they sure do? Better layout to lose. Oh, with the setup. I don't know. We'll see. It's only going to be for a short time. All right, let's do this thing. Here we go. Turn one. Can we beat Subterranea? And everybody else. We're starting with Scheme Twist. What was I saying about Scheme Twist? All right, so who's getting unmasked? Put it here from the HQ next to the Scheme as an unmasked hero. Oh, I forgot to do my counters. One moment. Nobody reminded me. Where have you been? I have to do unmasked heroes, and I have to change the Scheme Twist to... Six. So let's do it. Oh wait, oh no. Where's my file? Alright. My text editor decided to unload it. So let's load it up again. Hold please, your call is very important to us. Going to counters. Alright, I think this is the right one. Nope, that's the wrong one. The files are in the computer. Oh no, where are they? I can't find it. Template. Is it template? Aha, I found it. Okay, good. Phew, that scared me for a second. Alright, so this should work. If I press update, this should switch to six. It did. Okay, awesome. So the fourth counter needs to be unmasked heroes. Unmasked heroes. All right, out of five. It's the last part of the set of time. Well, normally I don't have to change everything, anything on it. Well, actually, that's not true. Miles, maybe that is a good idea. I'll think about that. Here we go. But I usually have to check the scheme first. All right, here we go. We're all good. Let's play the game now. So, I'm going to reset for the uh, YouTube timestamp here. We're going to do the Scheme Twist again. Okay, ready? Here we go. Alright, turn one, and nothing happened before that. That made me redo this. Here it is. And, Scheme Twist. Scheme is already there. I wonder why the Scheme is already there. That's really weird. Oh, it's over here. Okay. So, uh, put a hero from the HQ next to the Scheme as an unmasked hero. Who should I pick? I've got two Skurns and three Black Swans. I think I should put Skurn there. Uh... This is a thrown artifact. I get plus one for each card I've drawn this turn. House of Mal, you didn't hear it? I said, oh, uh, my ohms. Yeah, Mr. Draft heard. Hulk and Black Widow. Yep, that's it. Lower twist counter. Yes. <laughs> what does it say too? This is a great start, you guys. This is awesome. It's going well, going well so far. Okay, we're back to normal. Yeah, so I've got two cards here to uh, put in the stack. I've got Titanic Bludgeon, throw an artifact, and you throw it, get plus on each card you've drawn. That's pretty good. And her other one is Underhanded Dealings. Look at the bottom, discard, put it back. Draw a card from the bottom of your deck. Oh, that's good with, with the other card. Hmm. This reveals Scheme Twist, which would be great. And this lets me KO cards. They're all pretty good. Um, I'm gonna put underhanded on the bottom. This is uh, this is an uncommon, so this uh, this is going to the stack. So yeah, if you didn't hear it, Hulk and Black Widow are getting married, and uh, we're not gonna think about that too much. We're just gonna know that they're gonna show up, and we'll see who steals them. All right, we got one unmasked hero, and it is Skurn. You guys can't see who it is, but uh, so all cards with un who are unmasked off one to recruit, one cost plus one to recruit. Oh, I guess I can put put it down here. Let's try this. How's that? Nope. <laughs> One more time. I want you to see who's unmasked. There we go. Skurn is unmasked. Does that help? Let's go with that. So Skurn costs plus one to recruit. Alright, now I can actually play on my hand instead of messing around. 
I've got three recruit here, and I've got three attack, but I won't even play it. Okay, uh, let me take a look at Apocalyptic Vision. Maybe I'll go blue. There's a lot of, there's a couple ranged. It's not not too many, but there's a couple ranged in here. All right, I reveal the top card of the villain deck if it's a scheme. Okay, so I can belay, I can delay the scheme twist this way. That would be great. So let me, uh, let me take this for starters, even though I don't, I need recruit. So maybe I'll go blue and uh, black swan. Maybe get this Titanic Bludgeon over there to trigger it. Would be great. Oh, another one. All right, I think I have a strategy. I think I do have a strategy. Okay. We're back on track. Different hand for the other side. That's fun for variation. Laser Maze appears. A trap already. Laser Maze. When you fight a villain here, each other player reveals a <laughs> blue hero or gains a wound. Okay. Oh, not a trap. It's a location. So let's pop it up here. The Laser Maze is in the sewers. Doesn't necessarily replace the sewers. It's, it's in the sewers. I would not go to the sewer laser maze. You can put master strikes. You can put master strikes in the bottom, but scheme twist don't get. No, no. Reveal the top part of the villain deck. If it's a scheme twist, you get plus two. Otherwise, put it back on the top or bottom. Yeah, so I can move master strikes, not scheme twist. But uh, the master strikes cause things to escape, so I can avoid that lose condition there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Sewer laser party. All right. Uh, for recruit, we've got Lady Thor here. Let's look. Once per turn, if you made at least six recruit this turn, you get plus two attack. Okay, so maybe I'll go heavy recruit. Maybe I'll get these black swan cards over there. Let me KO things. Uh, okay, I'm going to go with it. It's better than a shield officer. It'll be more effective later. There might be some more strength that appears. All right, man thing. The synergy here is out the window. giant hero deck but it's fun it's nice to play with uh, more options okay we got one and five turn three round two left hand turn two scheme twist oh well no plus two for me so i can't unmask a hero name that's already been unmasked so it's got to be man thing or black swan um what do i more want to lose this one gets... Pl uh, I feel like I'm going to do pretty well with not uh, having things in the city because of the, the, the locations. Have fun working out... Yeah. <laughs> I will have fun with it. It'll, it'll, it'll work out. It'll be, it'll be fine. I think, yeah, the, uh, the setups are... Um, I get to use Civil War, so there's a lot of heroes in there as well as Fantastic Four. So I think I'll work it out. There's definitely going to be some focusing going on in Setup B. Okay. Um... I want to go with the KO stuff, so I'm going to put Man-Thing in the pile. Let's type him in. And let's update the counter. Here. Alright, two unmasked heroes. So if I want to recruit them, i got to remind myself they cost one extra to do so. I have four recruit here. That's the wrong spot for it. So I can take this Black Swan for three, or this one for three. Um, let's take the other Apocalyptic Vision to keep avoiding the Master Strikes, if we can. Oh, wait. All cards with unmasked... Why are you saying five? Oh, I have five recruit. Why did I do that? That was stupid. Oh, well. Doesn't change anything, except I have two recruit left, but I can't take this because she costs plus one. Alright, Dare, Daredevil Noir, let's take a sidekick because she is too expensive. Sidekick time. I actually have Fear itself, but not Villain, so I guess I can't do A because I don't have the Villain's core set. Um, you... Well, you don't have the hero, you don't, or the ally, you don't have, uh... Oh wait, hold on. You can do it, but you're going to have to, if it comes up, replace new recruits with sidekicks, but, like, treat them like new recruits somehow. Yeah, you're going to have to, like, uh, use a, uh, a you're going to have to use a, a card for the, the new recruits that you don't have. What's up, Imka? Did you see the setup? There's a lot of heroes today. Okay, four and two. 
What do we got? What do we got? The raft. Another location. Yeah, this is why Man Thing would be useful. Too bad I sent him away. Whenever you fight a villain here, each other player puts a villain from their victory pile into the escape pile or gains a wound. I have not seen a single actual villain yet. Just locations and scheme twists. Uh, alright. Four recruit. Yeah, do, do what Dre says. Just make some way to uh, signify that they're new recruits. <laughs> yep, Mo Man's here. Mo Man is, um... Revealing identities because uh, he is better. Okay, we've got four recruit. I can count my recruit this time properly. So this is the side where I was gonna take the. I took the strength card. Let me check out. Listen for heartbeats. That's a really good question. I don't know why. I've played two scheme twists, two locations. It should say round two. <laughs> my counters are off the off the charts today. If it's not one thing, it's another. So let me let me do that. There we go. Round two. So here we go. Choose number one number one or more investigate for a card of that cost. Um is that gonna be useful? If I get these black swans, I can investigate for them. And the the instinct will trigger the other instinct. So let me take Yes, please do message on Discord if you uh need more help. I'm going to take this. I think it'll be useful. Alright, and we have Meek. Alright, so I'm going to do a, a Instinct deck on the right-hand side. I think those are going to flow together really well. With Daredevil, Noir, Black Swan, and Meek. The da danger is right now that Meek is exposed because he is not unmasked, and I don't know who Meek secretly is. What is with this theme? Last week we had to discover the secret killer. This week we're unmasking heroes. Um, yeah, uh, so Doctor Doom would be on the nose, but at the same time, I think that's what everybody wants to see. They could do a Mole Man first. Yeah, their MCU, one of the great things they, they do, especially in Phase 3 and beyond, is take villains that are, you know, C, D tier. Oh, actually, in the Netflix shows, they did this too. And they make them actually pretty interesting, so... Puppet Master, um, Mole Man, they could do really well. Five. All right. I can't wait to see how they would pull that off. All right, we got our first villain. It's Power Man Eric Jostin from Lethal Legion. Power Man gets plus three attack where there's a prison location in the city. There is, so he has plus three. Escape, each player puts a villain from their victory pile into the escape pile or gains a wound. Let me put these locations down here. Um, okay. So he's in the laser maze. I gain wounds when I fight him. And there's a prison in the city, so he gets plus three. Okay. Yeah, it would be fun to see them go a different direction, like what they did with um with Spider-Man Homecoming. It wasn't Green Goblin again, it was Vulture. And uh, they did a really good job with Vulture. I have the best version of Vulture I've seen really anywhere, uh, I think. That's great. Alright, um, this is the This is the uh Skern side. So both of these cost plus one. So what makes more sense to take? This one or a Titanic Bludgeon? Okay, um, this will work well if I can get this going with her other weapon. So I'm gonna take this for five because she's been unmasked somehow. The guy from Atlantis. Oh, oh, the animated movie. <laughs> yeah, that would be funny. I expect to see memes about that if if we do get if it well I know we're gonna get the movie when we get the movie. <laughs> I watched that movie again like last year. A lot of it doesn't hold up, but parts of it I still enjoyed. All right, the Brood. If you don't know the Brood, you're lucky. Here's what they do: they get plus one for each bystander in the KO pile. Fight KO one of your heroes and KO a bystander from the bystander stack. Right now they are only one attack until I start fighting them. So I'm going to avoid that for as long as possible, I think. Although, it, you know what? It doesn't really matter. Let's listen for Heartbeat. I already drew it. To attack, investigate for uh, a card that costs one or more, but I have to pick the number. Um, what else did I recruit? Oh, shoot. I got... Um, don't tell me. I have to remember. I got Thor, uh, Lady Thor. I think she costs four, 
So I'm going to investigate for four. Here we go. Top two cards of the deck. I was right, and I got it. Awesome. Good memory, me. We got three recruit here. We got two recruit here. We didn't make six recruit, so I don't get to trigger her attack, and I got two attack. Imka, there's a, there's a YouTuber named LS Mark. I don't know if you heard of him. He uh, watched and reviewed every single Disney animated movie and Pixar animated movie from the beginning to now. It was uh, like a six-hour video or something. It was pretty good. So he's kind of doing the same thing that you're doing. Uh, okay. Four attack, five recruit. Five recruit. Let's take uh, this Black Swan without thinking about it too much before she's too expensive. So two recruit and then instinct. You may KO a card from your hand or discard a pile. If you do draw a card, a good opportunity for me to optimize my deck. Yeah, I enjoy his uh, his run-throughs. Okay, Mysterious Origin Lady Thor. Draw a card if you made six or more. Uh, four attack. I can't fight Power Man. He is eight to hit. I can take this Brood out. But when I do, each other player has to reveal a ranged hero or gain a wound. Uh, I can't fight either of these locations. And the left side, though, does have two blue heroes. So I can safely fight the Brood there. So let's spend the one to fight the Brood. Uh, and reveal the blue so we don't gain the wound. Uh, so here we go. KO one of your heroes. Let's KO this uh, agent. It's goodbye. And a bystander from the bystander stack. And we are losing the news reporter. That is too bad. Goodbye. So I won't keep track of that with a counter, but when a brood shows up, I'll put a counter on them so you can see how many attack they have. Yeah, sorry, Kyla. It has to happen. It had to happen. All right, that's it. At some point, I'm going to have to get the HQ to a position where uh, I can bypass a couple of schemes so I'm safe. I'm not in that place yet. Luckily for me... Um, well, actually, not unluckily for me. I only have uh, these two and no man thing here. Okay. <laughs> I don't think that was April O'Neil, but I'm just going to hope it wasn't. All right. Mbaku shows up. By the way, is the left-hand counter wrong? No, that was round three. This is correct now. Okay. Here we go! Mbaku, who's confirmed to return in Wakanda forever. Awesome. He gets plus three while there's a cult location in the city. Fight each player reveals their hand and discards a tech card. Haha, <laughs> guess what? Joke's on you. Seven heroes and not a tech card in sight today. Uh, so no, no discards for me. But uh, there are no cult locations. Actually, you know what? I should probably do this so you can read the name of the... I can, so we can read the name of the location. It's really hard because either I look at the attack or I look at the location name. I think the attack is more important. I can just look at it. Yeah, this is the prison and this is the maze. There's no cult location here. Okay. Here we are. Let's play both apocalyptic visions here. Not to confuse with apocalyptic vision, the character, who may or may not have been involved in an apocalypse. All right, uh, nothing here, but let's play the second one. Reveal the top part of the villain deck. If it's a scheme twist, you get plus two. Otherwise, put it on the bottom. On the top of the bottom. It is the Brood. All right. Um, I think I'm going to leave this Brood at the top because I'm still trying to wait as long as I can until scheme twist pop up, and there are only two attack. A stronger one I can put away later. Let's put it back on top. So I end up with four attack from those two. Five attack total. So what can I fight? I can fight M'Baku, but the other side is going to have to reveal a ranged hero and gain a, or gain a wound. Um, no ranged heroes, but I feel like I should still fight him so I can avoid him getting stronger with a cult showing up. And just eat the wound. Because I'll be able to KO cards with that black swan later. So let me do that. I'm going to fight M'Baku for five and just take the wound and probably KO it later. Why are you so... Okay. Nope. Uh, each player reveals their hand and discards a tech card. Not going to happen, so he's just gone. And uh, that goes to the left-hand side's victory pile. The right-hand side is going to get a wound, though. And there it is. Um, you know what? The legendary DXP has such a great wound sound. I wish I could use it here, but I don't want to steal their sound. But it's pretty good. i got to have to find something else for it. All right, three recruit left. Um, all right. So this is the blue side. She costs three. Let me look at my options. So we got Mysterious Origin. 
here. Once per turn, if you made at least six, recruit this turn, draw a card. I'm going attack heavy here, so I don't think that's useful. Let's take this so it'll work well with the other things. I love throwing artifacts. <laughs> Ouchie. Yeah, nope. <laughs> Something a little more, you know, like he got slashed by Wolverine. Uh, yeah, let's take this for three, thanks to her, um... Oh, no, yeah, thanks to her being unmasked. I do love throwing artifacts. Okay, there's Groot. Good, a whole bunch of names that uh, are not unmasked. That's exactly what I wanted. So I lose when five are unmasked, and I have one, two, three, four that are not unmasked yet. Um, and that's bad. So I gotta get those guys out of the HQ. Yeah, the DXP sound is like a um, it's like a deep lasery sound effect, and a guy going "ow." So I don't know. Maybe I can, maybe I can just record it on my own. And then you'll demand I change it the week after. Because it'll be that bad. Who wants to fill my inbox with sounds of you getting hit? I'll use the best one. Okay. Here we go. Second brood. I knew that. I already looked at it. These guys, however, are plus one. I shouldn't have asked for that. I'm going to get that now. But, you know. Yeah, you know what? That'll be fun. Send me your best wound sound and I'll use it. <laughs> Let's just go with that. That'll be fun. I see no downside. Maybe I'll see it later. Okay, two attack. I can fight that brood. Uh, four. I also need a feast sound. Oh, no, I don't. I have a feast sound. I don't have a wound sound. I don't have an escape sound either. I don't know what that would be. Um, I'm afraid to ask for that one. Uh, let's. We can fight the brood. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Viral? Okay, um, let's take Meek because number one, he's a recruit card and our instinct card, and number two, let's hope we replace him with somebody that's not unmasked so we can avoid that scheme. <laughs> you know what? Um, he's got to be original sounds. So don't do Wario voice. Uh, all right, let's take the feast card that usually works out, right? No, no rares or KO that way, ever. Okay, we got a common name. That That's a little better. Um, let's fight the brood for two. Let's do what they say. K, okay, one of your heroes. Goodbye, shield agent. Another one's gone. And bystander is gone. Standard bystander is gone. And the brood are now stronger when they show up. So, goodbye. Don't tell your friends, even though I know you will. I would prefer the sounds, by the way, to not be um, any dialogue. I, I prefer it to be just a sound, you know, like what I have for everything else. So, like, the best thing you can do for a sound of a wound, I'd prefer somebody not say, Oh no, I've been wounded. Gain me, and I'll make your game harder to, to win. That's a little much. <laughs> What's up, Tricky Vic? Yeah, escapes and wounds, and um, I think I have sounds for everything else. I have an animation for Feast that I have to just figure out how to make it look better and bring it in. No, definitely not. Definitely not. I already have that for the uh, for the Strike the Mastermind sound, but uh, you can't really hear it. It's very faint. Okay. Uh, there's the cult, so I'm glad I took M'Baku out. <laughs> Looks like a wound. <laughs> Gorilla Cult. Whenever you fight a villain here, each other player reveals their hand and discards a tech card. Once again... No tech cards in this game, but I have three locations out. Not a huge deal. Oh, th I forgot to do this. I thought... Oh, shoot. What's up, Thero? Your name sounds familiar. Where do I know you from? First time chat from you. Oh, yeah, I missed that. So I fought I fought the brood here on the right-hand side. Left-hand side had a blue-black swan, so I was safe. Okay, good. Um, okay, so let me continue this. Uh, sidekick, let's play it. Draw two, one, that's right, awesome, welcome, welcome, welcome. I knew I recognized the name, but happy that you're here. Uh, okay, let's play uh, the Throne Artifact first, Titanic Bludgeon, Throne Artifact, when you throw this you get plus one for each card you've drawn this turn, so it stays in play till I throw it, but the turn I did play it, it does count for the trigger, so let's do this, to attack. Top card of the villain deck is 
Not a scheme twist. It's Giganto. I feel like I should put Giganto at the top. I want to avoid these twists or strikes. But I don't want the deck to go too fast. Um, okay, let's let's put it back on top. We'll deal with him. We'll deal with him. Um, okay, that's all I get. Two more attack is four. I can't find anything for that, but I will soon. So four attack that does nothing. Three recruit that might do something. This is the blue side. So I want this other thrown artifact, but also I want to get Lady Thor out of the HQ. So I got a couple of choices. <laughs> Look at his big ugly face. All right. So do I take Lady Thor and hopefully get the HQ to a place where nobody else will be unmasked? Um, or should I take it? I think I should take the second Titanic Bludgeon. But she also, hold on, she also draws cards if you make that much recruit. So either way, it's fine. Let me take this first, because it is blue. And if I can get rid of the Lady Thors, then I will avoid the other nonsense. So hopefully that was the right choice. Come on, Man-Thing. Oh, okay, Lady Thor is rare. Um... Yeah, I'd get Groot too. I only had the uh, three recruit though. This would be great to get on either side, really, preferably the right hand side. Uh, but uh, I don't know what's going to happen. I hope I don't have to give her to Mole Man. If I give this to Mole Man, then she's safe. But she's going to cost nine. Oh my gosh! Imagine this game with uh, with the new Galactus card is going to cost eleven. How do you unmask Galactus? Haha! -ha, I knew it was you. The whole time. Alright, uh, Giganto. Did I throw? Oh, not only did I not throw, but I put the card away. I forgot it. No, Drufus, I forgot about the sidekicks. I totally forgot about the sidekick that I played. I always forget about the sidekick. If I put it away, maybe I should leave it out until I, uh, I'm done with my turn. So yeah, uh, Giganto shows up. We already saw him. Yeah, that, I could have done that turn better for sure. If I remembered, I played sidekicks. But uh, she's still out. When you draw a new hand of cards at the end of this turn, draw two extra cards and burrow, which means when I hit him, he goes to the streets if the streets are open. And I think even if there's a location there, it'll work. Yeah, oh well. So a thrown artifact means uh, when I play it, it goes to the bottom of my deck and I get the effect. I love thrown artifacts. They're cool. This is where they originated and they came back in uh, Heroes of Asgard. They originated in Fear Itself. Alright, uh, let's play. I got two. Keep her over here. Alright. Two, four. I keep saying sidekicks. Did I call her a sidekick? What I meant to say is, I played a sidekick at the beginning of the game. At the beginning of the turn. So that would have given me plus, uh, plus two for the cards I drew. But, I don't know. I'm gonna have to watch it back and see how badly I messed up what I was saying. Alright, four and three. Okay, so I, I was right. Yeah, that's why I said tactic. Okay, four recruit. Should I take Groot now over here? Get him out of here. Gain two shards. You may spend shards to get recruit this turn. Oh, that works really well with uh, Lady Thor. That's awesome. So let me take him for four. Get his name out of here. Replace with somebody who's already unmasked, please. Nope, we got Daredevil, Daredevil Noir. Easy to say. Nothing to fight for three, so that's the end of my turn. So I want more sidekicks on the left to get more attack from uh, the Thorn Artifact. I'm getting nervous by how the, hero, the HQ is going, but I haven't seen the Scheme Twist yet. So let's play... Not a Scheme Twist! Oh! Technically that's not a Scheme Twist! <laughs> Alright, guess what happens you guys? All subterranean villains in the city escaped. If any villains escape this way, each player gains a wound. Just in time for Giganto to show up. He escapes. He has no escape effect, but he is gone. Insert escape sound effect here. Um, let's do the KO. At least I can KO somebody to save them. Um, balancing act is going to go away. Goodbye, dear Devil Noir. Replaced with Meek. No, that's not another name I have not un unmasked. Uh, well, uh, villain escaped, so I do get a wound. Standard wound here for the left. As far as Master Strikes go, that wasn't that terrible. So let's play underhanded dealings. Yeah, I'm back on the left hand. 
So look at the bottom part of your deck, discard it or put it back. Uh, so if I threw Skurn first, <laughs> if I... Each player... Oh, you're totally right. Yep, each player, one for the side. Thank you. Okay, uh, so I could throw this, and then I could discard it, but I don't know if I'd want to do that, and I can't draw it yet, so I'm not going to throw this just yet. But I get to look at what's the, at the bottom, so let's play it. Let's just see what's at the bottom of my deck. It's apocalyptic vi Oh, I shouldn't look at everything. <laughs> it's apocalyptic vision. I'm going to put it back. I don't get to draw anything anyway. It's not a big deal. <laughs> Two, four. What's up, Ollie? Glad you could be here. And three, recruit. Once again, nothing to fight for four. If I throw this, I'll get one more attack, and that's five, which is not enough. Uh, but I can recruit something. Uh, now I'm going to take the other Titanic Bludgeon here for three, thanks to her being unmasked. Maybe I'll play them together. All right, another Skurn. Let's get as many Skurns out as we can so we can avoid the bad effects. I did it again. She stays right there. What am I doing? I could have thrown her and just drawn her again, but there wouldn't be any point. Ollie, did you hear what the setup is for Saturday? If somebody posted it in Discord, then you did see it. I'm assuming somebody did. I haven't looked yet. Thank you, Kyla. Okay. Awesome. Well, there it is. For, oh, you would have picked that. Okay. Well, now you get to see it. All right. Uh, got some combos here. Here we go. Swordsman. Who, by the way, I just found out he's being played by... Um, oh, he's being played in one of the shows by Tony Dalton, the guy who played um, Lalo in uh, Better Call Saul, so I'm really looking forward to that. I don't know if it's this iteration of Swordsman, but it is a Swordsman. He gets plus three while there is a carnival location in the city. There's no carnival location. This one is the raft. Uh, ambush, Swordsman, each location city capture. Okay, so the locations capture a bystander. This is going to get confusing. So let's give all the locations. So... Uh, I forget which show. Hawkeye, maybe? I think Hawkeye. Alright, so, I'll do left to right. Mirage is being captured by the White Gorilla Cult, somehow. We've got... Standard one being captured by the Raft. And then we have... The Radiation Scientist captured by the Laser Maze, which honestly makes a lot of sense. And then Swordsman is going to capture... Uh, this. Standard by standard. Hawkeye, that's correct. Alright, so we got a lot going on here. Uh, I don't know how to do that any better. Alright, uh, let's play what we've got. Let's listen for heartbeats. To attack, choose a number to investigate. Yeah, this is a very interesting scheme. So, who sh what should I be investigating for? What number? I have two four costs here. What else do I have? I don't, I don't remember. I think I took a sidekick, so I'm going to go with two. But I can't even recall that. Alright, here we go. Nope, it uh, wouldn't have worked anyway. Left to right for bystanders. Yeah. Uh, okay, that didn't work. Oh, but I investigated, so I'm going to put them both in the bottom. There's only one card left in the top. I don't know what it is, though. It's not going to make it, make a difference. I can't draw. Actually, no, no, you know what? Never mind. I'm going to feast, so I'm going to set that up. Let's put... These work really well together. Look at that. I'm going to put the agent on top. The trooper on the bottom. <clears throat> oh, actually, Meek gets to look at it anyway, so it doesn't really matter. So I'll just look at it again. Oh, no, you know what I'm going to do? I changed my mind. So I'm going to put... So he gets to look at the top card of my deck, but on the bottom. So I'm going to look at the last one. So I'm gonna... here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go mystery card, and then agent, and then trooper. So I can look at the top one, put it to the bottom if I want, and then I can feast on it. So let's do that. These go on the bottom with the agent on top. Now we'll play Meek for two recruit. Thank you, Dre. I had to uh, develop a strategy for this turn. Which makes me thirsty. All right. Uh, look at the top card of your deck. Put it back on the top or bottom. The top card of my deck is... Oh, it's a wound. So I'm gonna, instead of the agents, I'm going to feast on this. Uh, goodbye. Delicious. He ate a wound somehow. 
And we've got uh, three more recruit. Once per turn if I made at least six. Oh, I did. Oh, yes. It's going to be a lot of variety in this league, I think, this week. So I get two more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I made at least six recruit, so I get two more attack. But unfortunately, that's not enough to fight Swordsman. Actually, it is enough to fight Swordsman. He's only four attack. You might want to put a counter on Mole Man. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, he gets plus one for each escaped one. Good, good call. I was not even considering Mole Man yet, but uh, I'll do that. Yeah, things I can keep track of with counters, I won't necessarily put in the counter tracker, but uh, that works. Thank you. All right, so uh, Swordsman is plus three while there is a Carnival location, and we have the Cult, the Prison, and the Maze. So he's only four to hit. He has a Bystander. But if I do fight him, it's the laser maze, so the left side has to reveal a blue hero, avoid the wound, which they do. That's working out very nicely. So I'm going to fight him for four. And the bystander is rescued right here. Nice. Everything but the carnival. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad. All right. Uh, everything, nothing's moved past the streets yet, thanks to all these locations. But that's where things could burrow to. All right, with seven recruit, I'm so close to getting Flying Thunderstorm, I'm two away. I'm one away, actually. Just one recruit. Uh, that's, that, that hurts. But at least I can clear out the uh, city a little bit. So what do I want to take? More more uh, instinct. Yes, the laser maze has the radiation scientist. Each location got a bystander. It's really weird. I don't understand. So I can take uh, Meek. I don't want to take Skurn because I've already got... Already got that. Meek's gonna cost three. Black Swan's gonna cost five. So maybe I should just, I can only take one anyway. So let me get Witness the End. Cause Black Swan is no, not in the um, unmasked pile yet. So I'll take her for five. I can KO some cards that way. Only enough left for a sidekick. Okay, there's Man Thing. All right, so Man Thing and Skurn are already unmasked. If I can get these three out before more scheme twists happen and I can avoid a couple, I will be safe. I just have to avoid two scheme twists. All right, sidekick time. It's Lockheed. All right, that's to the side. I need a better way to designate throne artifacts. Yeah, I guess the location... Uh, the people working in the location capture the bystander, I suppose. My cannon for the my head cannon for the radiation scientist is they went to investigate a uh, honestly a uh, large underground in the sewers outpouring of radiation. So I went to check it out. Mirage of the White Gorilla Cult. Uh, I don't know. Mirage went to Asgard, so going to the Gorilla Cult's not so crazy. And there's a bystander on the raft that also makes sense. A visitor that got lost. Oh, that's good, except I have this overlapping the other mat, so it would have to be like this, but uh, you know, the way I have it set up. That's a good idea, th off the cuff. I almost called you Throne of the Cuff. I combined the words together. Good thing I didn't do that. That would have been embarrassing. Okay. Come on, something I can use. <laughs> off I go. I throw off the cuff to the bottom of my deck. I'm sorry. Alright, another Giganto appears. Once again, when I fight him, I uh, draw two extra cards at the end of the turn, which would be great. But he's going to burrow, and he's in the laser maze. Honestly, I don't mind burrow right now that much, because they'll just burrow away from all the locations. But he's in the laser maze right now. And uh, I don't have a lot of potential this turn. If I throw this, I can get one attack, which will give me one, two, three, four, which is not enough to hit anything. And three recruit is enough to get that Lady Thor card. So I'm not even going to play any of my attacks since four attack does nothing. Lady Thor is not unmasked. Worked better for the other side, but it also is blue, and I do need the recruit to keep the HQ moving, so I'm going to take this for three. I'll play the three recruit and then take it for three. Get her out of here. All right, another Meek. So if I can get Meek to be unmasked, well, I also don't... I want to keep recruiting things. So I don't know. I could have healed my wound, but uh, I didn't. Just one wound. I'll wait till I maybe get more. Okay, we got two recruits. One a Groot. One a Groot and two four recruits. 
That's hard to say. Okay, another brood appear. So everybody's moving down for the first time in a while. First time chat from Rue BC just came across us a week or two ago. These streams have gotten me psyched to get back in the legendary. Awesome! It's a great time to get back in the legendary as we're finally getting new expansions. It's been a little bit of a wait, but uh Well, no, I won't be KOing her. She'll just be, uh, she goes to her own pile, so it's not a KO. Uh, Rube, glad, uh, glad you're getting back into it. Thanks for finding us. Thanks for, uh, watching. Yes. Please join our Discord so you can chat with everybody and talk Legendary all the time. That's pretty much all we do. Uh, let's play my, uh, let's play Brute and Branches. Oh, I should put a counter on that Brood. This Brood is plus two. Brute and Branches. Gain two shards. All right. What color shards do you guys want to see? I'll get whatever color you ask for. You may spend them to get Recruit this turn, which would give me 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I'll save them to get a Lady Thor Flying Thunderstorm later. I can build them up. Blue, green, black. I don't have black shards. I have blue ones. Kyla was first. I'm going to go with uh, Kyla's. I wouldn't be able to recruit her. Yeah, she costs 9. I, I, mean, I don't mean this turn. I mean I can save them for another turn. Let me put the shards over here. All right, uh, that's it. <laughs> All right, uh, let me play that at the end. It's not gonna help. So that's three recruit. This gives me five recruit. If I were to play a shard to get recruit, I could get two attack plus one attack. But again, that's only good for fighting a brood. Uh, and I'm, I'm gonna save these for when I can recruit the rare. So I still have five recruit though. I don't want to take Man Thing out of the city, even though it's a lot of recruit. This would be a great card to get. Ah, oh, shoot. Yeah, if I did this, not only would it trigger with Groot's effect, but it would give me three recruit I would need to get her and use uh, Lady Thor's effect. That would be a great card to get. And I can move villains, uh, I can move a subterranean to the streets and fight them there so they won't come back. And I can move things out of. Oh, this is too good of a card not to get. Alright, um. This is a very good card for this game. I'm gonna take it because I'm still gonna have to give. The mastermind something. I'm gonna have to give him. I'm gonna give him meek, I guess. I'm gonna take it. I can't not. I can't not do it. Let's hope it's another man thing. Nope, another black swan. Okay. So if I get three scheme twists in a row, I lose. I really need to move the HQ along and uh, not listen to myself when I want to keep things there. Oh yeah, you're right. I'm gonna spend one. It's worth it. I need six recruit because it's on the list. No, but no big deal. Just spend a shard. We're good. Oh, actually, that's funny. I guess. Yeah. Well, when Groot's played, you may spend shards to get Recruit this turn. Now that I think about it, it's kind of like uh, the first burn shards uh, this turn. So yeah, that turn it was out, I'll spend it to, to Recruit it. So only when Groot is uh, played. Okay, who's coming into the city? Flying Laser. Oh, cool. He's going to get stunned because of the maze location. He gets plus three while there's a maze location in the city. Fight each player reveals a blue hero or gains a wound, a ranged hero. So we're finally out of the locations. Everybody moves down. This is a pain to do, especially with counters. The brood move over, and then he gets plus three. <laughs> no problem, Molly. Thanks for coming by. Where are my red counters? That one's blue. Here we go. They need, he needs plus three. Here we go. He's nine. Everything's so freaking strong in the city. Well, I got my second thrown artifact. I got two here. Living Laser, um, is he an Avengers foe? He showed up a couple of times, I just can't remember exactly. Maybe it's something with shield. Um, alright, so, uh, I could get four attack if I wanted it. Hulk villain, thank you. I can get four attack. All that's good for is the brood, and I don't want to fight them on the raft because uh, I have to put a villain in the escape pile if I do that. I don't want to do that. Well, actually, that could be strategic. I could KO something to uh, avoid the scheme twist. 
But uh, I'll wait. I'll wait. Three recruit. Nobody here I want. I do want to get Meek out of the out of the HQ, but I want to keep the theme I got going. So let me take a sidekick instead, because at least that'll help uh, power up her effects here. Except for this one, Thor's not going to do anything to help with that. Oh well. Okay, we're finishing up round eight here. What's going to happen? Another brood enter. Okay, so the city is full. Oh, if I can fight Giganto on the streets, that would be great. He will not burrow. Move this all over. This is taking forever. And then a brood here. And the brood need their own counter, too. I know I have one more in here. Okay, I maybe I only got this many. Here, I'll tell you what. Oh, I found one more. I think I just have one more red counter. I think I got enough for uh, the city. Maybe I need one more. Oh boy. All right. So what am I going to do this turn? Not many options. I've got five recruit and three attack. Uh, I probably should play this so I can fight the brood just so um, I don't have an escape. But which one to fight? I don't have any blue. Oh, I do have a blue. So I'll fight the one in the, in the sewers again. So let's take care of that. For three, we'll fight this brood right here. Yeah, send us some kickball videos. That'll be fun. Well, I'll root for you. All right. Uh, Kia, one of your heroes. Goodbye, shield agent. We hardly knew you. Also, Lockheed's gone. I used him. And uh, bystander KO is... That's a wound. Bystander KO is... Tourist couple. Don't tell Rob. He's gone. And uh, they get a plus one. So this one goes up to three. Don't know. I don't know how this is going to go. It's not looking great so far. I'm just going to be completely honest. Five recruit. I'll take the other black swan. Let's hope these chain. I could take Meek, but there's two of them. I'd rather avoid this. And I get more recruit. That's all going to stack, hopefully, together. And uh, here. Okay, we got two Lady Thor, two Meek. So if I leave the HQ just like this, that's only two other unmasked heroes, and I can survive. But uh, that's not good enough, though. I have to do better than survive. I have to thrive. Unicorns of Fury is a great name. That's amazing. Alright. Got some combos. What's next? Oh, another location. Here's the carnival. Carnival of Wonders. Whenever you fight a villain here, each other player chooses a bystander from the victory pile to be captured by Carnival of Wonders. All right, so Giganto has formed his own carnival in the streets. He's celebrating being the first Fantastic Four villain ever, and I don't blame him. Question is, can I fight something here? Um, I've got... Let's see. I'm not going to make six recruit this turn. I wish I could because I could have drawn a card. I've got underhanded dealings first. And find me some clowns that aren't. All right, two attack. Bottom card of my deck. Oh, I don't have a deck. Let's shuffle my uh, discard pile. And I can look at it. So what am I going to get? I'm going to get two attack, four attack, five attack, seven attack if I throw these. I can't draw, otherwise I might throw the artifacts, but I'll throw them after. So I'm going to get enough attack to fight something. Maybe I'll fight Giganto since he won't burrow. Here we go. Uh, bottom card of your deck. Bottom card of my deck is a shield trooper. I'll discard it. Cool. Now we'll play Apocalypse Division. Let's see if I reveal a scheme twist to get some attack. That would be great. Or a Master Strike I can put to the bottom. Here we go. Top card of the villain deck is a Master Strike. So I get to avoid this Master Strike. I put it right on the bottom. Awesome. So he's not going to escape even if I fought him. Oh yeah, Lady Thor first. I'm not going to make the recruit. So I just get two. And then two more recruit and one more attack. 
So, uh, if I want to fight Giganto, I gotta throw both Titanic Bludgeons, but let me look at my options. Um, I could fight, uh, let's see what I can fight. He gets plus three wheels of prison, so the raft is only six. I could fight the raft and get rid of it. I could fight Giganto while he's in the, here. What does the carnival say? When I fight him, each other player chooses a bystander to be captured. Um, okay. That, I think that's fine. The brood are here. This is six, and then Living Laser is nine. It can't fight him. I can fight the location, though. Can you fight a location while there's a villain on it? I think you can. I don't think there's a restriction there. Or I could fight this and get this out of the sewers. That's kind of hurting me. Um, this is the lose condition, so I'm going to fight Giganto. So let's throw both of our Titanic Bludgeons. I get plus one for each card I drew this turn. Alright. So these go to the bottom of my deck when you throw the artifacts. They go to the bottom. So I get plus two. I'm up to seven attack. Let's take out Giganto. Alright, when you draw a new... You guys were saying absolutely to fighting Giganto, I assume. When you draw new hand cards at the end of this turn, draw two extra. That's nice. Let me put a little counter to remind myself. And he won't burrow at all, so goodbye. That's great. Uh, when you fight a villain here, each other player chooses a bystander, and then the location captures it, so I do have the one. It's going to capture it. Which card did you draw this turn? Oh, you know what? You're totally right. I thought this was a, a base of one. Yeah, so I can't do... Hold on. Off the Cuff is totally right. I missed that. So I can't do that because they only get attacked when I draw a card. I didn't draw any, so they give me nothing. Good point. So he goes right back to where he was. And I have five, five attack. Okay, good catch. Yeah, I guess I just didn't assume that they were nothing. So yeah, if I don't draw a card, I can't do anything with them. I can fight the carnival itself, that's true. Alright. Do over. This is a... Uh, yeah, I can fight the carnival and that's pretty much it. Or the brood. Yeah, let's fight the carnival. And that means the bystander's back. Yeah, okay. Uh, the carnival is gone. Fought the carnival. Oh, you guys were saying yes if I can fight the location with the villains there. Alright. Alright, four. Yeah, it's, getting, it's pretty tough. Let's take another sidekick. I really want to throw those and I need sidekicks to do it. Standard sidekick for me. And that is all. Ah, that was so close. If only I had drawn a card. If only. I apologize, there's a lot of rules going on in the setup today. Do my best to catch the rest of them. Okay, so I already put the Master Strike to the bottom. And it's a bystander, okay, so... Locations don't capture bystanders if they're drawn from the villain deck, I believe. So this is going to go to the Living Laser. They just capture bystanders for some reason if, you know, stuff happens. Okay, he gets plus three. Nobody gets stronger from the carnival, already took care of that. Well, we get to do some feasting now. Let's play Heartbeats first. I'm going to investigate for a card that costs four. Actually, if I play Skurn but I don't have Recruit, can I use Psychic instead of New Recruit? So if I play Skurn but I don't have... You mean this one? No. This card here? Um, no Excalibur. Oh, I see what you're saying. If it summons New Recruit, you have to use New Recruits because they work differently. So if you don't actually have physical New Recruits... Um, use something else to stand in for them. It's just one kind of card, so it'll be easy. By the way, in case you want to see, here's a new recruit. It's different than a sidekick. Return this card to the new recruit stack, draw a card, and you get one attack instead of uh, drawing two cards from a sidekick. So find some other card and use them as new recruits if you need them, because it's not going to happen that often. Okay, so here's my discard pile. Let's see what number I should investigate. I got five, five, four, four. Five. I have more fives than fours, so I want the four card, but it probably makes sense. Yeah, horror cards is fine. Yeah. Use anything that can't be confused with anything in the game. 
So I'm going to investigate for five since that's the best chance. Yeah, it should be fine. And you're only going to get them if you use that card. And there's seven heroes in this, so it may not even ever happen. All right, come on. Give me a five cost card. Give me a five cost card. Nope, two zero cost. These are going to the bottom to punish them. Actually, maybe no. I could feast on these. Or I could take my chances. I'm going to put them to the bottom. I'm going to take my chances. Because I don't really want to get rid of my troopers yet. So that gives me two attack. These give me two more attack. We'll play Witness the End. Witness the End says, You may KO a card from your hand or discard pile. If you do, draw a card. So I'm going to KO this wound from my hand. So long. Draw a card. It's an agent. Oh, I wish I would have uh, feasted that, but that's okay. I'll play the agent since it's already here for one more. And then Devouring Frenzy. Yeah, there's six, so I, I did the uh, number right. All right, uh, this gives me uh, two more recruit. Look at the top part of your deck. Okay, I'm going to take a risk here. I'm going to put this in the... Hmm, I either put this back on the top and don't feast, or I put it on the bottom and take a risk and feast. Um, my gut tells me to not feast, so I'm going to leave it there. I'm just going to I'm going to leave it at, leave it as is. So I've got five recruit, four attack. I can fight that brood. I think I'm going to do so. I could discard this if I had Groot, but I can't. It's just a regular shard right now. Um, let's fight the brood for four. All right, uh, KO one of your heroes. Uh, nope, let's get rid of the agent. Oh, wait, I need to recruit this game. So, you know what, maybe I should get rid of a trooper. Let's get rid of a trooper. Even though I said I didn't get rid of one before. Um, reveal's not a keyword, what do you want to know? Oh, the scheme, never mind. You were right. Here it is. But you can go look it up. And uh, KO bystander. So I just saw reveal. All right, goodbye paramedic. Brood did it. The Brood ate you. And, uh... Counter goes up for the other Brood. It is now plus four. I'll get ready for when the next Brood shows up. Five Recruit. On the, uh, Instinct side, let's get one of these Meeks out of here. Uh, two, two attack and smash one. Alright, good. Man-Thing. I'm gonna leave this Man-Thing there. I'm going to leave everybody else there. Let's get a sidekick for the last two. And it's Throg again. Yeah, so my my strategy of Scalaport is to try and keep the names in the HQ. I have to bypass two Scheme Twists to make sure the rest don't hurt me. Yeah, Silo would be great for this. And that is all I can do. Alright, who would I have KO'd if I feasted? Oh, nope, that was the first card. If I had put that to the bottom, I would have KO'd. Oh, that would have been fine. Shoot. Next time. I just didn't want to get rid of that Groot card, because I don't know if I'm going to see any more, and that's a great card. I was too afraid of losing Groot. Left hand, round 10. What's going to happen? This is not a good hand at all. This is terrible. More Brood show up. They're in the laser maze. Brood in the laser maze sounds terrible. And there are five to hit now. Well, I've made three recruit, and I can get five total if I play Throg, which will allow me to get nothing I want. Yeah, he would. Um, in uh, Versus System, he does that. He levels up, and then when he basically gets KO'd, he goes back to level one as Baby Groot, which is cool. Um, okay, so I can play this for five recruit. I don't want to take Man-Thing out of the city, and I can't get Heir to the Hammer. So I might just do nothing and heal this wound and save Throg for later. I didn't draw any cards extra, so I can't get rid of that. And uh, yeah, this is a this is a wound healing turn if I ever saw one. So let me do so. I could get a sidekick, but I'd rather heal this wound and there's not, nothing I can do. I'm going to have an escape. Nope. Oh, yes. No, this is a location. I have one more space. Hard to decide how to build the decks. Yeah, I haven't really come across that much Covert myself. A lot of Instinct, so I'm building an Instinct deck with the right and kind of a ranged deck with the left. 
Okay, two, four, six, seven, eight, nine recruit. Okay, I can get Lady Thor this turn. That's great news. Is it too late? No, another brood coming. So let's do this. Oh, I gotta I got move him. Okay, so Living Laser with his bystander goes over. And we'll just put this brood here with a four counter on it. Okay, what a mess this city is. I hope you can tell what's going on because I can barely tell what's going on. So let's play all our cards. Three recruit. Let's play the first one with no, no effect. Just two recruit. And the second one, I can KO a card from hand to discard pile if I do draw a card. What's in my discard pile? Um, let's get rid of another one of these. We got rid of a trooper. Let's get rid of this agent from my discard pile. And we draw one. Nice. I have a lot of recruit this turn. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. And then chosen by Asgard. I made ten total recruit. I get two attack. Which won't do anything. But I do have 10 recruits, so let's take Living Thunderstorm, shall we? Finally got that rare. I'm just going to hope not to feast it. It says once per turn, and it costs 9. Nope, it costs 8. Because she's not unmasked yet. Once per turn, if you made at least 6 recruit this turn, you get 6 attack. That's great. Let's take her. Now I just got to KO all my other cards, so she keeps showing up. And that might help me out in a big way. And Lockjaw is going to join the team as well. Okay, um, bad news, you guys. Uh, the next turn, if I have a villain, it's going to push Giganto to the uh, bridge, causing him to burrow back here if he gets fought, unless there's a villain there, which there will be. And then uh, Power Man will escape. And he has an escape effect to give me wounds, so things are going to get bad before hopefully they get good. There's Groot and Branches. I don't know about this. Yeah, most of Man-Thing's cards are not going to be great. Well, the, the one that gives you attack for empty spaces... Is not good. If there's no villains next to somebody, because that's not going to happen. No villains in a space is different than an empty space. Location is in a space without a villain. Alright, there's, there's, uh, there's Lockjaw. Is this going to be our escape? Very well could be. All right, let's see if Snash is right. Is this a scheme twist? No, it's more brood. Okay, well, we're going to have an escape regardless. So Power Man will escape. Let's do this thing in order. Power Man escapes. Each player puts a villain from their victory pile into the escape pile or gains a wound. Guess what? Okay, so... What does that mean? Does that mean I do the escape effect? I don't think so. It says you put a villain from their victory pile into the escape. It's not an escape. You put them in the escape. You just lose the points. So no no KOs. As long as I don't do that with subterranean villains, it won't count towards the evil wins condition. So let's do that. We're going to put a brood in the escape pile from the right-hand side. And the left-hand side only has one villain right now. M'Baku. So it goes. And I'm assuming no escape effects happen. You just lose the points. Um, when he escapes. But I do have to KO for his escape, though. So let's get rid of somebody who's not unmasked. This is great. Draw an extra card. I want to keep that. Oh, man. So Man-Thing and Skurn are the only two. I don't like this card too much. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to KO it. Hopefully we get replaced with one of them. All right, more Groot. Um... Okay, now I'll move everything down. Slowly and carefully, because we have counters. Oh, I'll just do this. There's three brood. That makes it a little easier for me. And uh, they're plus four. Are they really plus four? I'm, I'm questioning myself. Let me check the KO pile. How many bystanders do we have in the KO pile? We've got one, two, three, four. Nope, that's accurate. All right, let's play the turn out. Um, I don't think the Brood have any bystanders, but the Locations do. So the, the Location bystanders... Yeah, the, the Brood don't have any. The Locations do have them. So they stay where they are. Yeah, they don't have actually have any of, of their own. Okay. But good on you for checking. So... I forgot that Mysterious Origin 
you can trigger that effect at any time, once per turn. Right? It's not going to trigger anyway this turn, but if I played... Would I have to do this at the time that I played it? It says once per turn, if you made at least six recruit this turn, I think I can do it any time. I'm pretty sure that's what that means. So, uh, two recruit, three, four, five, because I don't have a uh, brute over here, <clears throat> I can't do the effect, but I can do this. Top part of the villain deck. It is another brood. Let's put it back on top. I'm going to have more escapes, but I'd rather avoid scheme. Oh, this, this counts against the evil wins condition, though. Oh, shoot. Well... I don't know what to do. So I get two more attack from them, and I'm gonna get a third attack here. Thank you. Hydration time. Oh, that's right. It's just buffing mole man up. Um, Evil Wins is only the, the unmasked. Okay. If, if that's the case, then I don't necessarily care too much, because I'll be able to hit him at some point. I'm going to have to. So, um, what do I do with that? Panda Angel, what's up? Welcome. Thank you for the raid. We're just playing some Marvel Legendary. Everybody say hello. Does this work? I never tried this before. Oh, there's an 8 in your name. It didn't do anything. Maybe I have to set it up. <laughs> anyway, welcome. So, what am I going to do? Um, I can either choose to take this brood that I revealed, put it on the top or the bottom. I'm going to leave it on the top. I want to avoid those scheme twists, I think, so I'm going to leave it where it is, even though I can't fight anything. For four attack, even if I... Let's well, the other side. Let me recruit something. I have blue over here. Drawing cards works over here, so I'm going to take Surviving Sprig. Yeah, I'm going to take this over here on the left for three while well, I can. What's up, everybody? Thank you for being here. And two recruit gets me a sidekick. Here it is, a standard sidekick. Has anybody who had just joined never played Marvel Legendary before? I'm assuming that a lot of you have not played it before. It's a deck building game featuring Marvel properties. It is my favorite board game. I play it all the time, especially on this channel. Yeah, so uh, it's like a, it's a deck building game. As you go, you build your deck slowly. You have a mastermind who's trying to do something. So right now we've got Mole Man here. I can show you the setup today. We've got Mole Man, and he's trying to reveal hero secret identity. So you can randomize the game, and you get a completely different setup each time. So I have to fight Mole Man and defeat him before he reveals all the hero secret identities, which is pretty fun. Uh, he's using Subterranean Lethal Legion and the Brood, and I get all these heroes. I don't usually get this many heroes, but because of the scheme right here, it says to use seven heroes. Usually I just use five. So we got a lot of characters here today. Yeah, deck builders are so much fun. And if you like the Marvel stuff, then it's uh, just cherry on top there. All right, let's play this turn out. Okay, I got Groot and Branches, so I can use this for Recruit this turn if I want to. But we already know the Brood is going to enter, so we're going to have Giganto escape. He's going to do so, which means I have to KO somebody. Um, first, Mole Man gets a little stronger. <laughs> no problem, thank you. Thank you so much for the raid, really appreciate it. Everybody go check out Panda Angel. I don't know what they were streaming, but check it out. Uh, okay. Wait, this goes to the other side. Uh, okay, so uh, the escape effect, I gotta KO somebody. Let's take Balancing Act out of here again. Let's keep the Daredevil out of this because... Uh... Alright, cool. We have two groups. We have two things we've already got unmasked and then one more. So if I can get Lady Thor over here this turn and maybe replace it with a Groot, I'll be pretty safe if I can keep the HQ mostly like this. So Living Laser moves down. And uh, another Brood come in. So let's do this. Let's turn this up to four, and let's give Mole Man a um, plus two over here. All right, uh, cool. I can do a lot of stuff. I can actually uh, give the left side a shard this turn. Living Laser had a bystander. Oh, yes. Thank you. I'm used to the locations. <laughs> Get under there. All right. Are we good now? I think we're good. So uh, if I play this first... 
Travel the Nexus of Realities. Three recruit. You may move a villain to another city space. Another villain's there. Swap them. Does Living Laser have an escape effect? Yeah, he has an escape effect. Oh, Viral, open it. Tell us what you got. Send a picture. All right. So I'm going to move Living Laser all the way to the laser maze and just let the brood escape first. So you're going to open it later. Okay. So him and his bystander go all the way here. So let's swap this brood and let's put Living Laser in the laser maze. I think that's where he's happier anyway. So there you go. Yeah, who's it from? <laughs> it could be from it could be from anybody. All right, there. Next card is Groot and Branches. Gain two shards. You may spend them to get recruit this turn, and then Covert. Oh, it's from you guys. All right. I hope mine arrives. I hope it goes to the right place. Okay, uh, I cho may choose another player. The left side is going to get a shard too. There it is. So we'll see if I want to get that recruit this turn. Two attack. Um, if I play Lockjaw, I'll end up with four total attack, which isn't enough. So I'm going to phase him. Hope for something better. Phasing means swap him with the top card of your deck. I'm going to do so. And I get Meek. All right. Well, I can now, I can now smash Lockjaw away. And I can also trigger this now. That was a good choice for me. All right. Two attack. Smash one. So I'm going to discard Lockjaw. Smash Lockjaw. I get his, uh, I get one attack. Actually, no, so that's that's uh, that's Berserk. Hold on. I did this backwards. So to smash, I have to discard something, from, discard something from my hand. I've already played the Shield Troopers, and I can't take that back. I should have not played them. So either I can smash uh, this Black Swan, and I get five total attack. I can take out a Brood. Or I can um, use a Shard to do that, and then KO a card from my hand, or discard pile. I think it's better if I use a Shard to KO a card. So let me not smash... Oh. Um, oh wait, but it says smash one. That's an, it's optional, I think. So I'm gonna choose not to. I'm gonna choose not to do that. Um, and I'll, instead, I'll spend a shard to get rid of a brood. Let's play witness the end. Again, we decided that smashed. The keyword was uh, optional. Uh, to recruit. And uh, yeah, you may right right there. Okay, perfect. Thank you for that. To recruit, you may KO a card from your discard pile. If you do draw a card. Let's KO this trooper. It's the only thing I have that I want to KO. And we'll draw a new card anyway. They yeah, Lockjaw's back. So I could get six total attack. Or I can get seven if I spent one of these shards. But I still think I want to save the shards. Oh, wait. Does that mean I can hit Mole Man? We'll have more escapes, but that's fine. Okay, here's the deal. If I play Lockjaw... I'll end up with 6 attack, which I only need 9 to hit Mole Man. I could spend all my shards to hit Mole Man, or I could spend one to recruit Heir to the Hammer right now. But I don't have a lot of uh, I don't have a lot of strength or or range, so I don't really want this over here. So let's do this. Let's um let's play Lockjaw for the uh two more attack. And let's hmm do I get rid of all my shards to hit Mole Man right now, or do I worry about the escapes? I'm not worried about the hero deck running out, and this will help me optimize the hero deck, actually. And nothing bad happens if these guys escape. I have one, two, three, four, five. Hmm. Let me double check. Yeah, I didn't smash. So I have one, two, three, four, five. I do only have five. Um... So, I don't have enough. Yeah, if I play these, I'll get 8 total attack, which is not enough. So, let me phase Lockjaw then, instead of playing him. I think. Oh, yeah, I, I KO'd a trooper. Thank you, that's what I forgot. I KO'd one thanks to Black Swan. So, I was, I was right. <laughs> it's okay. Again, happy to... I'd rather have to check than to get it wrong... So I'm at one, two, three, four. I am at six attack. All right. So let's 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 continue. No worries. Let's spend all our shards and hit the mole man. I get three more attack, and uh, let's hit him. Okay. July thirteenth. Okay. So it took some time. So maybe mine will take some more time to get there. 
All right, underground riches. You get six recruit usable to only recruit heroes in this HQ space under the streets. Okay. So I could take Groot here. It's not that great. Oh, this is where Lady Thor was, isn't it? Did it say Commander? That's wrong. Oh, yeah, I didn't change that. <laughs> One moment. I changed the Master Strike and the Scheme Twist, but I forgot to change that. I knew there was something I forgot. Okay, hit the Mastermind. Where's the button for that? Mastermind tactic. All right. We're good now. <laughs> All right. Dre with the gifted sub to Alexi 1993. Thank you, Dre, for the the, the uh, traditional hit the mastermind for the first time sub gift. Really appreciate that. Wow, we're up to 30 viewers. That's so cool. All right. Um, so, yeah, that's where Lady Thor was. I could have used that. Okay, so I got plus six. I can get this for free. Do I want this at all, though, is the question. Strength, you may have a card from your hand to discard. Probably if you do gain a shard. I don't think I have any other strength cards over here, so it's not really going to work. So, it's tempting. Moment is tempting me, but I think I'm going to ignore that and leave Groot there. Uh, hopefully for a scheme twist. So, that attack is gone. I will... Hmm. I could recruit Skurn here. Wow, this is a really good card. The upside is I would get this. I could recruit it for four. Gain new recruit. <laughs> Try again. Gain two new recruits, and then instinct gain a third new recruit. I'm going to trigger that almost all the time. Oh, that would give me a lot of attack. Okay, the upside is I get to do that. The downside is um, it doesn't do anything on that turn. Plus, I'm going to... You know what? I'm not going to take it just because I'm worried the scheme twists are going to come. I just got to bypass two scheme twists, and I can take whatever I want. Uh, okay, for that reason, I'm only going to take a, uh, a sidekick. I am banking on the fact that... Nope, wrong side. I'm banking on the fact that a Skew Twist is going to appear at any moment. I'll lose Lady Thor. But then I have the HQ how I want it. Or I'll lose um, Groot. I was hoping to recruit Lady Thor out of the way. I worry too much. Yeah, I do. I do, but hey. What are you going to do? So let's move over. I have a shard over here. Now I lost all mine to the other side. By the way, in case you don't know, if anybody's watching for the first time, I use the final blow rule. So that means, hey, I can throw my artifacts this turn. Yeah, thank you. See, this is why I don't keep sidekicks out. I always forget to, to get rid of them. Okay, so I get a lot of attack this Oh, a good amount of attack this turn. Here we go with Scheme Twist. Okay, so I was right. I'm still going to have to suffer it this turn. So I'm going to have to give her either Groot... Or Lady Thor. So, or give a, uh, uh, reveal the identity of Groot or Lady Thor. So, uh, Groot is, uh, there's two of them. So if I reveal Groot, I already have one here. Uh, so I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to, I'm going to give this Groot up. So one Groot is revealed. Hey guys, who do you think Groot was the whole time? So we've got Groot. Add it to the list. And uh, there we go. Final blow, yeah, means hitting the mastermind a fifth time after defeating the four tactics. Sorry, I got distracted. Yep, that's what that means. Sorry. <laughs> Stuff happened. Oh, you were talking tree the whole time. Well, at least I don't have an escape. Come on, uh, I want man thing, skurn, or Groot here. Good, another skurn. Okay, so it's almost where we want. I just got to get rid of this lady Thor, and we got to we got to avoid two tactics. Okay. Now. Oh, by the way, he's still plus two. That didn't change. So let's play the sidekick. For two cards. One. And Throg. Okay. So first things first. Am I going to draw any more cards? Yeah, I am going to draw more cards, I think. One, two, three, four, five. No, I'm short one recruit. Oh, that's, that's too bad. I could have got a lot of points for that. Let's play Surviving Sprig first. Okay. <laughs> Audrey 2. I love that. All right. Uh, one attack. I get to get an extra card at the end of this turn. But I could have used it now, but I don't get it yet. Okay. Followed by... 
Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna draw anything. I need one, two, three, four, five recruit. Yeah, it's not gonna happen. So let me just play uh, these two now. I'm gonna throw Titanic Bludgeon. I get plus one attack for each card I've drawn this turn. So I get to throw two of these. I drew two cards at the sidekick, so I get plus two for the first one, plus two for the second one. And now they get thrown to the bottom of my deck. Love me some thrown artifacts. I even have this shard I can use. Can I hit Moman again this turn? That would be great. Okay, there's one. Um, I'm gonna play Mysterious Origin now, since I can't trigger the effect. I just get two recruit. I can trigger it later if I if I made it. And now I'm gonna play Apocalypse Division. Two more attack them up to seven. Top card of the villain deck is a Master Strike. I want the Scheme Twist to come out faster, so I'm going to put this down. I'm trying to avoid them so I can keep playing with full confidence. So that's at the bottom now. Master Strike at the bottom. Um, I'm going to play... Alright. It won't do anything. Well, it won't do anything now. Um, I guess that's true. So it wouldn't do anything, but at the same time, I want the I want the scheme twist to come up faster so I can recruit from them. So yeah, the the upside to leaving it there is um, nothing will escape. But the downside is um. But the downside is it makes it mills down the deck faster and makes scheme twist come out. But I see your point. And I've only drawn a couple of subterranea, so they're probably way down there. So you know what? I think you're right. I am going to let it come out next turn. Okay. So, scheme, uh, Master Strike next turn. Uh, for different reasons, but uh, that works. Well, no. My, my gut, now that I realize that, is to move it. But uh, either way. It gives me one extra turn to uh, get things ready. That's I'd rather have that. I can KO more stuff. Okay, what haven't I played yet? Yeah, <laughs> it's okay, a little bit of delay. Alright, so I'm at 7 attack, that was just 1, 2, 3, 4... No, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, so I'll play this now. Uh, look at the bottom card of your deck. It's it's the Thorn Artifact, so I'm going to put it back. I'm not even going to look. And 10. So I've made 10 attack. Let's hit the Mastermind again. I'm glad... Oh, new, new chat from James... Abrazil, I think I said that right. I'm glad Legendary is still getting love from you. I play myself from time to time. I know most went down the Champions path. Hey, you can play both. I played a little bit of Champions. Um, not enough to say that it's not my thing yet. I'd like to play more, especially with more multiplayer. Uh, but um, I just love Legendary so much. But I would love to play some Champions too. You don't have to play just one. Alright, I've got 10 attack. Moment is 9. Let's hit him again. We've got Master of Monsters. This is not the final tactic. Oh no! Oh no! See, this is why I didn't want to put the. Well, oh, I guess this actually helps me. If this is not the final tactic, reveal the top six cards of the villain deck. Play all the subterranean villains you revealed. Put them on the bottom of the villain deck. The rest, of the bottom of the front order. Oh yeah, Mass Brood Escape is coming. All right, here we go. A lot of them are going to be subterranean. I've only seen a couple. I left the Master Strike there, but here's the rest of them. Alright. Half of them are subterranean, so we're going to have three Brood Escape. But at least, um, i, I got to play them all too. And now the Master Strike's going to let them all escape. Um, yeah, no Scheme Twist at all, they must be way down there. Well, hopefully the Master Strike... Well, the Master goes in the bottom, so at least I want to... So let's, let's do this, alright? So, I'll put those aside. Okay. Play all of them. So, it was in this order. So, the Moloids first, you know, on the bottom. Here we go, let's do this. Move this out of the way. Oh, Mo man, this hurts. Alright. So. Let's do this. First Brood escapes. We're going to KO. We're going to keep this going. We're going to KO Lady Thor. Actually, no. Yeah. I, I put six... I played three cards. There's three cards, one at the bottom, that aren't Scheme Twist, so I'm going to get rid of her just because I need to keep the ones that are unmasked out here. Okay, who's escaping next? 
All right, so this brood is escaped. So I got to KO somebody else. Uh, it's gonna. I'm gonna have to keep going with this route. So I like this card, but Meek's got to go. And then the third one escapes as well. I, I should do these in order actually, because there's ambush. Well, the only ambush effect is one gains a bystander, so it's not gonna affect it. All right, this Meek is also getting KO'd. Three KOs. Luckily, I don't have to worry about the KOs. All right. Come on, one of these two, one of these three, uh, or a Groot would be nice. Ah, oh, shoot. Okay, well, maybe I can recruit this Balancing Act this turn, and uh, hopefully it's something that uh, can't be uh, unmasked. All right, so that means this Brood is here in the bridge. Living Laser has moved to the streets. That was brutal. And we got Moloids here, Moloids here, and then Megatar who captures two bystanders, Reporter and Standard. That sewers is crowded. We've got, okay, I'm gonna fix this. So, oh wait. This one was Living Lasers. I always forget his bystander, thanks to all the other ones in there. Nobody else had any bystanders. Just Living Laser, the rest of locations. So Megatar goes there with his two bystanders. Let me move the location up a little bit. There. Okay. Now, three cards left. These all go to the bottom in random order. So we're avoiding that Master Strike, but also a Bystander, too. Which means next card could be anything. It could even be a Scheme Twist. So let me try one more time to get rid of... This. Stack of Doom in the sewers. Oh, that's terrible. Megatar is at the underground radiation laser maze rave party. All right, um, Throg. I don't want to keep Throg, really, so I'm going to play Throg for four, and then one more recruit is five. Okay. So I'm going to take Balancing Act, not because I want it, but because I'm trying to get one of the unmasked heroes there. So let me recruit this for... Uh, for three. Come on, come on, come on. No! No! Shoot! I had so many chances. Okay, Throg is gone. Some help you were. And it's a sidekick, I suppose. Okay, Ms. Lion. I get to draw one extra card next turn, but I don't think that's going to help me. At least I avoided Super Strong Brood. <sighs> okay, well, I sure hope the next card is not a Scheme Twist, because I was trying my hardest to avoid it, and I don't think I'm going to be able to. That was probably one of the most devastating Master Strike, uh, Mastermind Tactic effects I've uh, had in a long while. Again, luckily the uh, Evil Wind Condition was not escaped uh, things. That would be bad. Yeah, I bet you enjoyed it. Throg, you're back. Okay. I did get the rare, though. All this has to do is not be a Scheme Twist. Not be a Scheme Twist. Not be a Scheme Twist. It's Megatar. Okay. I know I put this... Oh, so I've already played... Yeah, there, I guess there's only six Scheme Twists. I played three of them. All right. So another escape Brood. All the Brood escaped. That can't be good for whoever's on the other end of that. Well, let me... Um, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten Recruit. So I could take this if I wanted this turn. But just to play it safe, I'm going to have to KO her. Meek. All right, well, something to recruit. Yeah. There it is. Thank you. All right, moving on. We've got to have Megatar enter. Nope, Biocenter goes with it. I remember this time. Sorry, this is a crazy city to manage. All right, let's put him over here. Same deal. But he does capture two bystanders like his other self. I did get the forklift driver. Moving the raft up. Put this down. Oh wait, I can't do that. He has different bystanders. Hold on. One moment. Okay, there we go. We're set. What a mess. All right, um, let's play our rare finally. Give me some bit of good news here. Four recruit. Once per turn, if you made at least six recruit this turn, you get six attack, so I will this turn. Um, I'm gonna play Throg now. 
So that's going to give me the six recruit, which I just made. So I get two attack, and he goes away. And I'll trigger Living Thunderstorm now to get six attack. So I'm up to eight attack here. Um, ten recruit. Oh, ironically, eight, it's not going to give me enough to hit, uh, hit the Mastermind. I, I need a... Oh, I do have enough, actually. Eight plus one is nine. And we only had two escape. So let's hit him again. Let's just keep hitting him. Two more recruit from Black Swan. Okay, uh, yep. Seven plus two. I still only have two escape subterranean villains. Let's hit him again. Yeah, he's the city. I'm not even going to look at it. All right. Secret tunnel. You get six attack usable only against villains in the streets. That's overkill. He's plus six. Why is he plus six? He only gets plus attack for subterranean villains that escape. He's only plus two. Not, not in the city. Yeah, uh, Moment gets plus one for each subterranean villain that has escaped. So only two have escaped. Nope. That would be really bad. Maybe an epic Mole Man would do that. But, uh, not him. Alright, so I get a free hit on this Moloid, which is nice. I got plus six against those villains. And no worries. Again, always happy to check. So, let's take this Moloid out for free, then. I got plus three against anything else that goes there. If only I had Man-Thing to move somebody there, that would be great. So we're gonna fight this for free. Uh, fight K1 of your heroes. And he burrows, but he goes back into the streets. And so he doesn't, that doesn't work. Okay, who should I KO? Probably the shield agent here. Goodbye. <laughs> I love that quote. I don't care how much damage these rampaging monsters do. I can't if people find out that I'm actually Groot. I mean, I am Groot. Is that what that means? Alright, I have all this recruit and not much to do with it, except I'm going to take Devouring Frenzy for four. If I get something that is one of the unmasked, I'm going to stop. I really hope I do. Black Swan, where have you been? Well, at least I can take this. She's not unmasked either. Reveal the top three cards of the villain deck. Rescue any bystanders and put the rest back. I mean, that's instinct also. So I'll take this for six. And then hopefully this time... Oh, come on! How many cards have I pulled? Ugh, I need three different names and that's not any of them. I must have I KO'd all those KOs was the same spot. Yeah. Did it do something weird formatting? Yeah, I've used a lot of Black Swan. I mean, I haven't seen her in a while, is what I'm trying to say. Okay, one extra card, thanks to that effect from last turn. There it is! Couldn't avoid it. I tried my hardest. I really did. Okay, uh, so we have one more unmasked hero, and it's Daredevil, who actually makes sense to unmask. So I have to... Update the thing. That's too bad. I just gotta worry about... I've gotta hit Mole Man two more times. Well, three more... Yeah, two more times. Yeah, one more and that's it. Alright, Black Swan... Come on! Alright, I'm gonna take Black Swan. I just need one of... Now four different names. If it's a Daredevil, I'll be safe. Anybody but the other three. Oh, shoot! I really hope he comes back, by the way. I have to not recruit... I have to leave the HQ and not recruit anything else. I just gotta use what I got. I have enough. I've proved to hit Mole Man, so... Alright. Let's try it. Let's recruit Apocalyptic Vision for three recruit. The thing goes in, thing goes out. Come on, come on, come on. Good. Okay. So this is a solid, safe HQ. If I pull a Scheme Twist, I am safe. So, as long as I can keep the villains from escaping in the city. I'm good. At least I can hit that Moloid, but he's going to come back. So that's going to be its own challenge. <laughs> Alright. Uh, two more recruit here. I didn't make six, and I got three attack. I can get four attack with a shard here. Hmm. So let me just go over this. Living Laser is nine to hit. The Moloid is three. This is... These are each six. These are more doable. I just gotta hit them. No more recruiting for the rest of the game until I draw both Scheme Twists. If I draw the Scheme Twist quickly, then I can recruit safely. But yes, yeah, pretty much off the cuff. Alright. 
let's hit the Moloid. Um, I have to discard a tech card. But I don't have one. So let's hit him. He's going to burrow back to the streets. Fine, but I get to KO somebody. Let's KO the shield agent. Oh, my gosh. I'm actually... I think my uh, my blood pressure has increased. I think I'm getting very nervous. For uh, the way the city looks. And the scheme twist. Alright. Wow, that's a... That's no... No, no attack at all. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Nice! Safe! <laughs> Alright. Yeah, well, there's not much I can do. So, by the way, uh, he can't unmask anybody. Everybody's already been unmasked. So, I have to avoid one more scheme twist and I'm safe. But the villain deck is almost all the way gone. So this fizzles. Thank you, finally. Uh, yeah, alright. Let's see what I can do. All right, we're gonna investigate. All right, I need to draw some attacks. So what do I got? I have five, eight. I'd love to investigate for Living Thunderstorm, but that's too risky. Is there any way I can put... Oh, you know what? Before I do that, let me play Devouring Frenzy. Because I can actually look at the top card of my deck. So let me shuffle up my discard. Let me look at what's here first before I can prepare for investigation. I got five, eight, six, four, four, three, five, five. So it looks like five is the best guess. But let's uh, shuffle up my discard and see what I reveal first. I don't get to feast, but I do want to reveal. I do want to do this first. Okay, top card of the deck is Shield Trooper. Shoot, shoot. Okay, well, it's going to the bottom. Now I'm going to investigate for a five cost card. Please, 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 please. I did. Not the best one, but I get it. This goes to the bottom now. Ugh, I needed attack. I needed a lot of attack. All right, well. I'm not going to get it. I'm going to get four attack total. I can actually get rid of the Moloid, though, this turn. Let's play, uh, let's play my two shield eight. Nope, let's play this. Travel the next of realities, three more recruit. All this recruit goes to waste, I can't recruit anything. Except for sidekicks. Uh Oh, you know what? Uh, no, I can't do that. I'm only gonna get four attack. Actually, let me do witness the end first. So I can figure out I'm gonna draw a card. Maybe I might draw something good. Okay. Uh two more recruit. Nope, I only get I go back down. I have two at the beginning. I got two more. Alright, let's KO this shield agent. And let's hopefully draw something good. Please, please, please. No! Oh, <laughs> man. All right. Well. My plan was going to be if I got a little more attack, I could have swapped one of the Megatars here and took one of them out. But I can take Molids out and then I got two city spaces to work with. So do I want to swap anybody? I don't want these to escape. But they're already as close to here as they can. So, I'm going to leave everybody exactly where they are, I think. Oh no, you know what I'm going to do? Before I play this, I'm going to fight the Moloids first, and then I'm going to move Living Laser. No, because I can't fight Megatar, I'm only going to get four attack this turn. But what I'm going to do is, I'm going to move, I'm going to fight the Moloids so they're gone, then I'm going to Living Laser to the streets so that I can fight the Megatars later without them burrowing. So we're going to do that. Let's play, um, so I got two recruit, four recruit, and now I'll play this for the, the, the six. Oh, I already KO'd one, didn't I? From my hand. So I got two, four, six recruit. So now I'm going to play Chosen by Asgard for two more recruit. And I'm going to trigger that now. I made at least six recruit this turn, so I got two more attack. Now I'll fight the Moloid. For... Draw another what? What are you talking about? Uh, K, one of your heroes. I spend three. Uh, first, the Moloid is gone. And then I get to KO another hero here. Okay. Now I'll play Nexus of Realities. And I'll move Living Laser over one space to the streets. So that 
If I can fight Megatar next turn, he cannot burrow. And I'm at 11 recruit, but I do not dare recruit anything with all that recruit. Except for a sidekick. And it's a uh, Red Wing. And I'm at 9 recruit if it matters to anybody. Other side of the die, and that's all. Okay, got myself a little bit of a window. Will it work? Oh, check it out. I have a sidekick, and I have two more cards in my deck. Those are both the the weapons. So I'm gonna get I'm gonna get um, two, four, six attack this turn, which is enough to take out a Megatar. Get some new recruit. I don't have the new recruit stack available. We said no, only for the card. So uh, you, I can't do that unless Skurn gives me one. Not everybody has the stack. Okay, here we go. I hope it's the last game twist. Please be the last game twist. It's more... I thought you guys were all gone. All right, well. My plan still works. I can fight a Megatar. If I don't want to fight Mole Man just straight up. I forget what his last tactic does. Yes, you can only get it through the card. Oh, I have nothing to play yet. All right, let's do this. Play the sidekick to draw what I uh, assume should be... Yeah, both of these. So I play them right now. I can throw them for four attack total. Um, let's play Apocalyptic Vision after. Well, I, I played these two. They're played, so they're out in the field. So now we'll play Apocalyptic Vision. Two more attack. Is it the Scheme Twist? It is not. Hey, there's Mola the Molen King. Guess where he's going? Yeah, Ambush. Every Any villain in the streets moves to the bridge, pushing any villain there to escape. He's going to the bottom. Yeah, I haven't given the rules yet. If you want to play it for the League right now, don't use the new Recruit stack. Only use them if uh, you're asked to get one. Yes, I will uh, I will do that. No problem, thanks for coming by. So I put it on the bottom, at least I can avoid the Molen King, which is nice. I will throw both of these, that will give me a total of four attack. And they go to the bottom of my deck, which is right there. So I'm at six attack, and four recruit. I could get seven if I played this shard, but I don't think I need to. Let's fight Megatar, which one though? Uh, who has the better... Uh, Bystander. So he's got the forklift driver. Oh, he puts heroes from the HQ on the bottom of the deck. That could have been useful earlier. But I don't want to do that. I think this just says draw a card. Yeah, so if I do this, I can draw one of the thrown artifacts again and throw it again. If I do that, I'll be up to two attack, which won't be enough. Oh, let me put the counter on the brood. I think they're plus four right now. I'll have to check before I fight it. Um, that'll give me plus two attack and I won't do anything. Um, yeah. That's all it'll give me. And I, I'm not going to need the forklift driver anymore. So I'm going to fight that one. Let's fight the one here. Oh, what about the, the locations? Okay, when I fight one, each other player with a villain puts a villain from their victory pile into the escape pile or gains a wound. And this location is... Oh, the tech one. Alright. Let's fight it here. Let's fight this one. So let me take Megatar and his bystanders. And we'll just draw it so we can get an extra card next turn. So, for 6 attack, take him out. He cannot burrow. Goodbye. My plan has worked. And I rescue this standard bystander and the news reporter. The news reporter says, when you rescue this bystander, draw a card. So I draw one of the artifacts I just threw. I could throw it again for 2 attack. Oh no, I just drew another. I just drew this. So I could actually throw it for 3 attack. But unfortunately, that's still not enough to hit anything. Even if I spend my shard, that's not enough to hit anything. Uh, so I won't do that. I'll leave it where it is. Now, four recruit. Take a sidekick and nothing else. I gotta survive that last scheme twist. Of course. Which I think, if it's... I, I put the Molen King to the bottom. I put everything else to the bottom. So the scheme twist should be coming up fairly soon. I really hope so. Alright, come on, draw a sidekick so I can power up uh, Skurn over here. Alright, this is one of those closed games that I'm really enjoying. Shuffling well. Alright, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Come on, give me something good. Oh, look at that. Card draw. One of these. Card draw. That's gonna be good. Gotta survive to that. 
Why does it say right hand? That was the left hand's turn. Did I forget to press it? Did I press it early? I think I already pressed it. I think I did. I'm just gonna go with it. I didn't take a turn twice, did I? I don't think so. That was definitely left side's turn. Okay. Right side's turn, here we go. Master Strike! Oh boy. <laughs> so, bad news is... This. I do have an escape. So I'm no longer safe. The, the bad news is I have an escape. I'm no longer safe from... The Scheme Twist. But... I do have Recruit, so I could try to fix it. So let's do this. Megatar escapes, but he also has Bystanders. So that's also bad. So he escapes with two Bystanders. He, uh, Mo Man is now one stronger. So I gotta KO somebody. Uh, I got Groot, I got Skurn. I'm gonna go with the Odd Man out, I'm gonna go with Man Thing. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta get a discard. Alright, hopefully this is gonna make it fine. It's not fine. I have to just keep recruiting from this spot until it's fine again, otherwise I am in trouble. And I gotta discard something. There's not really anything good to discard. Okay, this lets me draw cards, and I can do both of these. So I need to draw as many cards as I can. I'm gonna discard Meek here. Left side is gonna have to discard something. It's gonna be this agent here. And the wounds, that's right. So when uh, Megatar escapes, he is going to... Oh wait, no, hit the, the Mass Strike effect. If any villains escape, each player gets a wound. Yep, wound, so that's gonna hurt. But what really matters is... Oh great, a Grievous Wound. What really matters is if I can get this back to normal here. Let's see, so I play the sidekick first. One, two, okay. Let's play Dark Foretelling. Let's find out what's at the top of the villain deck. I get to put it back in any order, by the way. Actually, I'll do this later. Let me find out how, if I can set up the HQ first. So, I'm going to play Meek here. So, two attack. So, if I smash something, I'm going to get 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 attack. Mole Man is 9 to hit. So if I, I'm going to play this for 6 attack, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I'm going to have enough without smashing, so I'm not going to smash. Everything else gives me more attack and lets me KO stuff. So, yeah, he's 10 to hit. I'm going to make 10. 6 plus 4 right, right here. Right here with these two cards, that's 10. I'm going to make enough recruit. So I'll do that. Let's start. Uh, let's get some recruit and let's take uh, from here. Okay, I'm gonna KO this wound that I just got from my discard pile. And I draw a card. It's a trooper. I'll play the second one to do the similar thing. Two more, uh, I get four total recruit from those. What's my discard pile? I don't have another wound, so I'm gonna KO this uh, shield agent from my discard pile. And I'll draw a trooper. Okay, well more attack is more attack. Now I'll play a uh, living thunderstorm for Eight total recruit, and I've made at least six, so I get six attack. I'm up to eight. Okay, let's see what we get here. Recruit this for three. I have no time to think about whether or not they make sense in my deck. Okay. Skurn. All right, we're safe again. We're safe again. So now, here's what we're going to do. We're going to get that scheme twist to come out next. Twelve attack. Top card of the villain deck. Top three cards of the villain deck. This last scheme twist has got to be in here. There it is. All right. So we got the other Raktar. So this is going... No bystanders rescued. Scheme Twist first. Followed by the Master Strike, since there's no uh, Subterranea. Followed by Raktar. So here we go. Scheme Twist, Master Strike, Raktar. Wow, that card saved me. But Scheme Twist was the third down before. Okay. Phew. So I'm going to be safe from that. I think that did secure my win right there. I just got to do this right. Um, so before I do anything else... Is it... Oh, am I allowed to look up what his last tactic does? Because I'd hit him... I'll hit him right now. What is his last... Ta last ta it's, it's available knowledge. What does his last tactic do? 
had a snake form. The way her legs look, kind of. What does anybody know what his last tactic does? I did the one that uh, plays the top six cards of the villain deck. I mean, I can just look at it. it. There's only one tactic left. It's the same deal, right? Does anybody mind if I look? Oh, scroll up. Somebody already said it. How far up? His last tactic was put a sub villain from your victory pile to the escape pile. Okay, that's fine. Thank you. So let's hit him. Okay, this. The twists and turns in this game are, are very fun. Dig to freedom. Each other player chooses a subterranean from the victory pile and puts it into the escape villain's pile. Doesn't mean it escapes, though. And that's each other player. Guess who doesn't have any subterranean villains? The left side. So this doesn't do anything. What was already the order of things? Um, the, uh, the scheme twist was the third one down, I believe. Okay, let's play Groot and Branches now. Here. All right, gain two shards. Oh, I'm still scrolled up. No, I'm not. I'm good. Two shards for me. Let's put them right here. And I'll play these two troopers. A four attack, two troopers. I haven't taken out a single location here. Can I have a shard? Okay. This one's for you, Viral. Okay. You should, uh... Wait, like, uh, ten minutes and it should be there. What, why should I take the shard back? I, I gained two shards without Covert. Right? I, I can only, uh... Oh, from Char from Viral. <laughs> I just gave him an extra one I happened to have around. All right, all right. Okay. So Groot doesn't have the shards. I'm gonna put him here. Groot's hanging out. All right. So four attack. I'm pretty sure I have the oh, the brute's strength wrong. Let me see. Let me count my bystanders in the KO pile. Maybe it's right. A lot of stuff in the KO pile today, you guys. I've got one, two, three. Nope, it is four. It's plus four. So, can't fight that. I could spend a shard if I really want to. Um, yeah, it's not. I can spend them for recruit only this turn. And I'm not going to use anything for recruit. So, let me let me uh, spend a shard. We have one more attack. Doesn't belong here. Thanks for the follow. You definitely do belong here. I don't know what you're talking about. So, I'm going to fight this last brood here. Other side has to reveal a blue. It does. We're fine. Okay, uh, let's do it. Uh, KO one of my heroes. Shield Trooper is gone. And then KO a bystander from the bystander stack. Board Gamer goes away. That's a shame. I like that one. And I get the brood. Okay, uh, five recruits and get me a sidekick. I'm not going to be stupid and uh, do something I shouldn't. And that's it. Yes, I can explain what's going on. Thank you, Oa, for the gift. Enjoy that, uh, Rep and Wolf. So this is a, uh, with the game, uh, with the actual game itself, or what's going on within the game. Just let me know if you're familiar with uh, Marvel Legendary or not, and then I'll go from there. Because that could mean, what is this game, or what's happening within the game. I'm happy to explain it if you want. Okay. So that's that hand. Shuffle that up. I think that went pretty well. And it doesn't belong here. If you did just want to see what the setup was, you can type in exclamation setup and it'll pop it up there. I think the game is almost over here. And in a good way. I'm happy to eliminate the Mole Man. In a nutshell, we're fighting the Mole Man. He's trying to unmask superheroes and we're trying to stop him from doing that. Thank you, Snash. Snash to the rescue. Okay, is this the last turn? I only have to hit Mole Man for three more. How do you randomize this? Oh, good question. Let me put my hand down, then I'll tell you. Why do I only have five cards? Oh, because I discarded from the uh, Bystander Escape. So I use a randomizer app. Uh, this is Wheel of Fate. What it does is it'll randomize the uh, mastermind, who the big bad is, the scheme, what the big bad is trying to do, the villains and the henchmen, who is working for the big bad, and then the hero deck, or the, the uh, heroes that you are using to stop the big bad from doing what he's trying to do. And you just... Uh, 
press a button and it will randomize the whole thing. So I randomized this uh, at the beginning of my stream and now I'm playing it. So uh, check out Wheel of Fate. It's not supported on the web anymore. It is an app. There are tons of other randomizers out there. So just search whatever app store you have for a legendary randomizer. There's a bunch, but I like Wheel of Fate. All right. Uh, now we'll play that scheme twist, shall we? Here it is. So that was the last scheme twist. Would have cost me some points for the league, but at least I don't lose. Everybody's already unmasked, so I am safe. I did it. I'm very happy I accomplished that. I'm quite proud of myself, to be honest. All right, let's see if I can take down Mole Man first. Let's play this Titanic Bludgeon. Um, let's uh, play both of these. One, two, three, four. Oh! You know what I just did? I made a, I made a mistake. I made a big mistake. Can you guys tell what I did? I discarded the shield agent. I should have discarded Apocalyptic Vision. So now, unfortunately, I don't have enough recruit to throw these weapons. Actually, I skipped a step. I needed I needed six recruit because Mysterious Origin lets me draw a card if I made six recruit. I discarded the shield agent thanks to that bystander escaping, so I only have five recruit, which means I don't have enough to draw two cards, which means I don't get the attack from this. But if I did that, I would have only gotten uh, four attack, and I wouldn't be able to hit him anyway. So I guess this works out. So uh, can I defeat him on my next turn over here? Uh, maybe, maybe. All right. I might just run out of cards in the villain deck. Well, let's see what I can do here. It would have no. Uh, what I'm. It would have depended on the draws. You're right. So there is a possibility. It wasn't a sure thing, but I got to play it out as I have. So I have one recruit here, and these just give me more recruits. But five recruit. But now I'm safe to recruit stuff, even though it's so late in the game. I got apocalyptic vision. I know the top card is a master strike. Um. So I don't get the plus two. I'm gonna let the master strike stay since it's gonna do nothing. And I'm only at two attack. I might be able to turn this around in two turns. Um, okay. Can't find anything for two. I can recruit something. Um, do I have enough coverts? Should I even take anything? There's not going to be enough turns for me to take anything, but... Let's just do it. Let me take this for four. Finally, I can recruit stuff again. Oh no, you know what? I need to draw cards. It's better for me to take a sidekick. Okay, oh, not the one I wanted. I can take a three cost, and she would have cost more than I had any- Oh, she would have cost all of that. Nope, I have three left. Um, these guys are all plus one, so I can't take any of them. Alright, kind of, kind of a waste of a turn. I just need to draw Lady Thor's rare, and I'll be fine. I just need ten more attack points, and I can win the game. Okay, well, I've got sidekicks. I have a shard here. I need 10 attack points. Let's reveal this final, or this third master strike here. <laughs> Nothing happens because uh, no subterranean villains escape. We're going to have the Moloid King show up, which is not good, next turn. So let's see if we can end this before then. Play my sidekick to draw two. Here we go. All right, we got Groot and Branches. Awesome. Let's play this... Uh, Hmm. I can do Feast. Oh, I can Investigate. Let's play Red Wing and then Investigate, okay? Red Wing. Look at the top three cards of your deck. Here they are. So, let's see. Which one should I Investigate for? I get to draw one. Which one gives me the most attack? This one draws another card. If I KO a card from my hand. So, let me uh, draw Witness the End. And... Um, Put Chosen by Asgard back on the top. I'll investigate for four. All right. So let's play this out. Thank you, Red Wing. And that was the instinct, so I can trigger the rest now. Let's play... Let's investigate first, so before I forget. There are only... Six cards left in the villain deck, so I have six turns to finish this thing. I just need ten more attack per, for one turn. In six turns. Maybe I can get it this turn. Um, Alright, I choose four. I investigate. 
I'm going to draw chosen by Asgard. I'm going to send this to the bottom so I can try to get the rare. Okay, so I draw chosen by Re chosen by Asgard. Sorry, this is a mess. Let me move things over a little bit. Is there a hero deck that starts with B? You mean a hero name that starts with B? There's a bunch. Um, black, all the heroes start with Black, Black Panther, Black Widow, Black Swan, and then there's a bunch of others too. Okay, we play Daredevil Noir. Now we're going to play... Uh, not Groot and Branches yet, because I might get a Covert. Let's play Chosen by Asgard right now, so I get two Recruit. Is there one that you're looking for specifically doesn't belong here? Okay, so I get to trade that in for two attack when I get the rest of my recruit. Um, let's take a chance. Let's KO two more. Let's KO the Shield Trooper. I have no discard pile. So let's draw. Come on, Lady Thor, Lady Thor. No, not Lady Thor. So I could try again. Because right now I'm on track to only get two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm short two attack. I have to keep drawing. So let you know. What? Let me play Devouring Frenzy first, so I can look at the card. No problem. Um, there's other versions of Legendary, the Legendary Encounters. Have you are you familiar with the uh, the Alien and Predator series? Okay, let's look at the top card of my deck. Um, I'll just. I'm going to put this in the bottom because I really just need that Lady Thor. Okay, my, by the way, I put it on the bottom. My deck is only five cards. I have one shard here. I can get two more. So I'm not going to feast. I'm going to play the other Witness the End. I'm going to KO something hoping I got Lady Thor. I'm going to KO Man-Thing because I don't need the Recruit. I'm sorry. KOing Man-Thing. And then I get to draw a card. Yes, that's exactly what I wanted. So let's play her now. So how many recruit did I get? I got two, four, six, eight recruit. I forgot to add it up. And I'm at two attack, eight recruit. I will play chosen by Asgard for two more attack. I think this is gonna do it. Drew her. Here we go. 12 recruit, once per turn. If you made at least six recruit, you get six attack. That's enough to hit Mole Man. So that's gonna be a win, but let's play it out. Let's see what I end up with. Groot and branches, I gain two shards. And then I've got... Oh, that's a, it's a die. <laughs> that's the game, pretty much. Uh, Meek gives me two more. I don't smash. Can't hit anything else, so let's just do it. Down to two. He's got no more tactics left, so that is going to be the game. gone all right <laughs> that was a fun one i a few times during the game i thought i was gonna lose if i didn't manipulate the hq just like i wanted it to thank you for all the ggs if i didn't manipulate the hq just like i wanted to it would have definitely been a loss you are right mole man is deceptively difficult let's see what the villain deck looked like i avoided both molen kings by putting one to the bottom two master strikes and a bystander and i avoided the brute effect just by letting them escape because it didn't really hurt this turn and uh this would have been terrible if it came in earlier. Yeah, very interesting uh, week for the league. I'm going to have to spend some time putting together setup B because if we look at the setup, let me do the predictions too. How many cards from Fantastic Four and Civil War? None. So I'm going to have to pick all new heroes for the hero deck. Pretty sure I'm going to pick Thor from the core set and then some other ones. So we'll find out. Let's do the points. Please stick around. We're going to raid somebody at the end of this and uh, you get more points for that. So if you want points, stick, out, stick around for the raid. Choose prediction outcome. It was a win. I'm very proud of this win. Most of you said win, so it's not a lot of points that are going out. Yeah, I can do Daredevil. Maybe do Black Panther. Well, um, yeah, what, well, when I design setup B, I try to do heroes that have something in common with these ones. So... Oh, did you get it? Did it did it arrive, or is it just uh, the one from House of Mal? So yeah, I try to build the setup so it's uh, heroes from the available expansions from Fantastic Four, Civil War, and Core that close. Okay, cool. Let me know when mine gets there. I hope it arrives. Uh, okay, well, let's get rid of that. 
Do you guys really do you want to predict who got more victory points? I think you can figure it out. Just throw your guesses in the chat. I'll I'll let you know how many points I got. There's a return address on it, so it'll go back if it didn't uh, didn't make it. Yeah, I'm not even gonna do a prediction. It's totally the right side. Let me show you. Let me show you. Here we go. One, seven. Actually, the mastermind too. Thirteen. 14, you can guess numbers right now. 18, 19, 21, 23, 29, 35, 36, 37, 40. 42 points for the right side. 42. Left side, six, nine. Left side got one hit on the mastermind and one location, and that's it. So not that much for the left at all. Really interesting. But uh, what was next? Okay, Meek, and then... Okay. That was fun. I can't wait to watch you guys play this one. Congratulations again, uh, Ollie and Kyla, for uh, winning both setups. Uh, go watch their channel if you want to see how they played last week's, but uh, they're going to probably stream this week's later. Let's go find somebody to raid. I appreciate you all. Thank you for being here. This wouldn't be hardly as much fun without you. Saturday, 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 2 p.m. Pacific, we are doing our Guys vs. Gals game, where people you're seeing in the chat over there, there, right now, actually get to join on Discord and play along. And they're playing against each other, but with each other at the same time. I'm excited for that. Be there. 2 p.m. Pacific Saturday. Let's see who we're rating. Who is on? Who's playing board games? That's what I want to know. Alright, board games, board games. Awesome, Drufus. Yeah, if you can't be there, that's totally fine. I appreciate you being part of it. Alright. Um, not a lot of physical board games being played today. There's one. Actually, we've raided Charity Board Gamer first. I like them. Let's go raid Charity Board Gamer. They're playing something. I don't know what it is. Please give them a warm hello. And uh, I know I didn't upload the setup from Saturday. I'm going to get that one up too on my YouTube plus this one. And uh, thank you so much for being here. I'll see you on Saturday. Can't wait for that. And uh, take care. Everybody, thanks for being here for the game.